Welcome back to another episode of Chicano Shuffle. This is Ramon. Steps. Fernando. Oh, shit. I thought it was going to be Noelia jumping in right now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you guys didn't record last week. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? That's what I heard. <laughs> Secrets. I don't know. Noelia Noel said that you gave her the thumbs up. That's what I heard. She's not like, hey, Esteban told me if I could fill in. I mean, mate, I don't care. You guys didn't record. Where you guys uh, told me can now? We're gonna take the week off. Don't come by. We said. <laughs> yeah, no. Don't worry, bro. We're not recording. We're hey, just take the day off, man. Eh? Yeah. Fucking, that's cansado, man. Just take the day off. It's a uh, Columbus Day. <laughs> <laughs> Indigenous <laughs> people day. Le digo, no, that's a week after, way. Sure, Ramon, <laughs> trying to take the Monday off. <laughs> What's up, bros? Nada, man. ¿Cómo estás? You're yeah, back. Man. I'm back. Took a little vacay, man. Yeah, that's what I'm. Yeah, you have to talk about it. Yeah, you're more relaxed. You're more like all friendly. You're not so wound you think up. So? Yeah, yeah, I've been pretty acro lately. I don't know what it is. Estás aventando madres y no tienes cara de enojado. Like, mira, me deja. I don't some of the supplements that I've been taking, man. But ultimamente me siento pretty, pretty a little aggressive, man. Yeah. yeah, I've been trying. I've been having to catch myself. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. la camisa, güey. Yeah. Se va a encuadrar el güey. I'm running like in a little short fuse, güey. I'm like, fuck. I need to watch out, güey. Oh, fucking a. Yeah. Well, yeah, not to, mm. you know. Try to one up you or anything, but I, or I've been. You've been pretty aggro too, dude. I've been. Uh, I, yeah, I was even talking to them because she's like, "Hey, are you alright?" Like short fuse or what? no? Not short fuse, but como que somehow I'm missing my spunk. Oh really? Yeah, like I don't, I don't. Mm. No, not in that sense, we. <laughs> Nada pescadito. No, no, el pescadito está bien, güey. Nah. Está bien, güey. Nah. I and the fucking just keeps. Ya te, ya, just ya, keeps ya, ya lo miré posting on the on the fucking Instagram que se una vez hecho ocho palos en un día estaba. Uh, but uh, I wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> my twenties. He was talking. He was talking. I was in my twenties. He was spraying was. these fucking these no. these, these uh, facts no. on the Instagram. How, how did I miss this, güey? It was on the on the fellas one. I let it go. You were watching a lot of X videos, güey. Ocho palos, güey. Pero era palos, but it was. In one like, day, so. yeah, but it's a 24 hour day. Pero one ocho, day, estás wey. cabrón. Wey. Yeah, pero ya los, ya después del quinto, güey, estás aventando pinche. No, pues ya suspiros, güey, suspiros. Yeah, you, es puras pinches. All it does is shake. Yeah, but this was this dude. This was I was yeah, in my twenties. Powder, I, my, <laughs> I love powder milk. Yeah, no. My my vigor, my vigor was there, dude. Well, yeah. but uh, it was just one of those. And it se pudo, había se pudo. Yeah, because I was, you know, when you're, you know, I was in your twenties. Who, who do you know has their own place? Or at least in our times, mm. you know, that has their own spot or anything. You know, even if they're going to college, siempre está la roommate or mm. siempre hay alguien or, yeah. or the, the, the fucking, the flatmates are there. Que la chingada. So this, the, this, Flatmates, he says. Este funcionó en el sentido. For UK homies. I know, right? Oh. <laughs> oh, it was, yeah, it's one of those inside jokes que se me pegó, The flat. The flat. Flatmates. You, you remember that, that dude from South Central that, like, apparently killed, like, a hundred fucking chicks? Oh, the, sli- the, the Grim Sleeper? You remember him? Yeah. There's a, a, like, a British, a UK fucking, uh, filmmaker that, that made a story about him. And it's funny, wait, cause he's in South Central and he's like, is this flat four? And the people are like, what the what? fuck is this guy talking about? <laughs> <laughs> He's doing yeah. investigation. The HBO one, right? Yeah, I think yeah. it is, yeah. Que agarra una de las morenas. Yeah, yeah. She's and like, she's driving around like, Yeah, 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 that I, one. I, you remember the Chris Sleeper? <laughs> that, that one, that one, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Where that is. Just yelling at people? Yeah, yeah like, no, she was like his, his little confidant. Yeah, like, she was uh, like, like a... Like the tour guide, like no, the hood. Or the advisor, or the... the, the like Maybe insecurity, no? Yeah. yeah. She was and putting then the girls on They're pulling up to prosties in the in the street, and like... Hey yo, Chantel. Yeah, you remember? <laughs> you, you remember about the Grim Sleeper? Yeah. Oh yeah, girl, I do. <laughs> but um, it's funny because he's like on Slauson and yeah. fucking one forty third or Figueroa. Like, it's just flat four, and the fucking flat people four. are like, "What the fuck is this guy talking about?" <laughs> four. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, man. Yeah, so funny, so man. yeah, so fucking yeah, it's in his in his twenties, we. No, había nadie en la casa. We had the whole place to ourselves. Oh, so eran ocho chaqueteadas. Chaqueteadas, yeah. Oh, okay. Because you made it seem like it was some follow. No, because the whole topic was like, what are you laying pipe? Yeah, no, I thought you had fucking eight chicks in one day. No, ¿cuántas veces te las jalado? Nah, I don't think that was a question, bro. Want me to look it up? No, I don't think that was a question, bro. I don't know. Well, maybe I misunderstood it. Because he he was upset because I'm like, damn, bro, you laced us the duro Alex videos. He he made it sound like it was with some chicks, wey. No! So I stay away from you. Get on the lottery on Instagram. No, right away. Stay away. 
Lane que, Pipe Machine. Que ocho palos en un día, dice el güey. No, güey. Chivato. I don't even know where to You're fucking. You, were, you had a 12 pack of Lipovitan, güey, ahí en el pinche pack. freezer, güey. Costco fucking box. Pinche todo. Like, top. Do, 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 do. Yeah, pinche Ramón, güey. Uh, pump going. Yeah, no, yeah. este güey made it sound like. Oh, well, no, dice. Yeah. What is your personal record for number of orgasms? I mean, uh, uh, that's yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so, so technically, era, no era de cuántos palos, sino cuántas veces, you know. But, uh, I guess, we... En una de esas, we, fucking, it was a weekend, no había nadie. Me puse el anillo. Oh, you know? man, that, that must have <laughs> been a whole pack of fucking baby wipes. I, I could get a good signal around that <laughs> time. <laughs> that's a lot of crusty socks. We. I know. <laughs> Sock monkeys. <laughs> that's the camisas of todas amarillas, we. <laughs> 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 pintado, yeah. All right. You know, yeah. so it was one of those. I mean, I don't know if they were asking for the ladies' opinion or the ladies' uh, inquest. Yeah, they're probably asking the ladies. Hey, yo, yo me, me apunté a like ocho. Que ocho. I think he took the record, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's one of those, that, like, you know, in, in a 24 hour fucking period, you know, in your 20s, way. Like, But that, 20, that's a little too much, man. Right? That's, that's some 20, dark, yeah. that's some dark stages. You, may, maybe when you discover a way, you fucking nah, only Because is... after five, yeah, those, the, the last three estás llorando. Yes, the last three. <laughs> I don't even know why. <laughs> the, the last three after you're five. crying, man. After five, you're already crying, man. No sé qué era, güey, pero maybe estaba that. todo pinche prendido, güey. It's mm. like one of those que, no, you know, that no like se a, bajaba, güey. Fine. Did mm. you take my agro? No, no existía back then. Viagra was invented in like what? What are we talking about? What year? Ah, uh, we're talking about Remember maybe Ramon's from the greatest generation. Oh, right, yeah. Mid nineties. Right. Ramon's from the greatest generation. Wave. Okay, yeah, I he, think it was late nineties. Yeah. He just missed World War Two. Remember? But even <laughs> then, <laughs> <laughs> he just he was fourteen. Yeah, he I was around the it. Korean War. <laughs> no shit. But no, 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 le interesó. Yeah, so it was one of those. But yeah, he said they're not going to make movies about this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> But that was, you know, that's that was the whole fucking. Y ahora culero. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> y ahora qué? A ver, cuéntame ahora qué. Lo más, lo más ahora es, pues, en un día, uh, maybe two pushing three, yeah. pero tres, yeah. todo pinche, yeah. todo así pidiendo esquina, güey. Fucking. Yeah. In 48 yeah. hours, he says. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> Stretch the timeline. That's uh, that's his PR in a week, where. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, we're still talking chaqueteados, right? <laughs> I were, like, yeah. What were we, were, didn't we meet some compa? Of, uh, what was his name at, at the fucking Cape? Was it the Cape? Yeah. Okay, he's like, I don't trust anybody. East that... LA wa uh, art walk. Yeah, remember the art the walk? One in the, no, the no, biker. No, it wasn't East LA. The, the one, the biker dude, right? No, no, no. I'm talking about the, the homie that was next to us that had the, the luchador. We interviewed him at the cave. Oh, Narco Narcomi yeah, Art. He said something about like, if you, if you still have X videos... If you didn't erase the, oh. the search, like, yeah, I can't trust you because you're fucking sloppy. Yeah, you're sloppy. <laughs> Get me in trouble, puto. <laughs> yeah, that fucking, I go to my home, like, let's see how trustworthy I am. Uh, yeah, you it? frequently visit a pinches X videos. <laughs> you type in X and boom. <laughs> yeah, X. I mean, yeah, I, I told him, I mean, dude, show me your search bar and put X in there. See what comes out. <laughs> right away. El mío, the first thing X videos, wey. <laughs> I think his was Pornhub, no? Or something like the Or no, si le pones un X, wey. Uh, yeah, you go, to, you go to search bar you put a next see what comes out <laughs> <laughs> I can't trust you eh? <laughs> no yeah so fucking uh, so yeah I don't even know how we got to this topic I don't know well, oh, we're, we're, we're oh, talking we're about agro no yeah the agro so for me for me it's just uh, I think because of the whole this whole me change of missing eating tacos, eh? yeah and and not only that but it's like handle like, like not absent pastor. not absent minded but it's just like you feel foggy no, not even foggy. It's just like, I'm just serious now. Shit. Just serious. Just like, you know, no ando, no ando con chistes, no ando bromeando that much anymore. And that's como cuando really? Stella lost her groove. Yeah, andale. I lost my groove. <laughs> but no, but see, the thing is, I'm still myself, but I'm not like, constantly I was like, eh, hey, como esta? Que la chingada sea mis pendejadas, right? Ahora I'm just like, you know, just sitting so there. you're not yourself, man. Right? Yeah. So now I'm just sitting there like, if, like you know, maybe because I'm tired. Maybe because I'm just uh, like it doesn't help me. Yeah, I'm tired, and then like you know, I'm still crave. I still have fucking cravings for. Mm, yeah, for, well, that's just yeah, yeah. So I'm just like, pa no pensar en eso. It's just like you know, I don't know, not not like absent minded, pero como que me cierro, and then, no me cierro, pero like 
kind of like trying to stop thinking about Tú stuff. Tú te cierras. Yeah, I don't <laughs> know. No, no cerrarme, because al cerrarme no pongo atención. It's just like, kind of like, you know, just try to concentrate on something else and not that. So mm. I guess it looks like I'm... I try to distract yourself. Yeah. Mm. So th that might, that comes off. So, yeah, the mija was telling me that. She's like, hey, are you all right? Are you, looks like you're upset or you're annoyed. Or I'm like, no, no, it's just... You know, and, and it wasn't until today when I'm like, I was, you know, antes de venir, I'm like, yeah, I think it's, it's just, I'm still, believe it or not, I'm still trying to adjust to this whole. Is she doing it with you? Or? Yeah, she mm. is. But she, she had already started it way before, mm. and, but you know, luego se, se descarraleaba and then she'll get back on it. And then, you know, she, so she was already used to the whole, the whole thing. I just went cold turkey, mm. you know, I just went cold turkey and it's like, shit. You know, but it's, you know, you start finding alternatives. And now, like, ahorita antes de venir, pues no, no alcancé a comer. So llegué al Jack and fucking I just asked for a protein burger. Mm -hmm. You know, no bun or nothing, just wrap it in lettuce. All right, cool. And then she gave me a free burger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she gave me one, a nacho cheese chicken or something. Can I? Mean? I don't know. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, so fucking llegué, se lo, se lo, se lo dio Esteban. Toma, güey. You want it? Okay, I'll take it. I might not even finish it though. I'm like, all right, by the way, it was free. No, no me la cobró. No me la cobró. No. Dad, use the pan. ¿Y, y cuánto dejaste, güey? Dejé los pinches onion rings y los jalapeños. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, at least you can explain it, güey. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is with me, güey. I just I, I feel feeling a little like aggro, güey. I don't know. Like, is it maybe the change? The change in the in the t in the seasons? I don't know, way. I don't know, but like, como que the full moon, I, I, something way, something way. But I've been catching myself like, wait, you can't fucking like you gotta chill, way, because at work, like wherever, <laughs> way, I just get a little snappy, way, and I'm like, fuck, way, you can't, you can't be doing shit like that, way. It's fucking... <laughs> Catches himself con la camisa en los shoulders, güey. No, no, agarrándose, oh, hold on, hold agarrándose hold on. con los paisas. Yeah, I catch myself fucking cracking my neck, right? Hey, fucking yeah, tropo yeah, yeah, basta de poner pinches santos aquí. Uh, veladores uh, me están chingando el pinche, el fork leaf. El fork leaf. I don't know, bro. El fork leaf. No sé qué es, güey. I mean, I go through shit like that sometimes. Yeah. You know, it happens I'm, quite often. I'm sure there's listeners out there that, like, their mood changes, you know. And it's natural. I mean, you can't always be happy. No, no, you can always impossible. be cheerful. You know, no. there's gonna be moments where, like, just the sm the the slightest thing. I'm I'm not as bad as I was a, maybe a month ago, or two, or like I was like, well, well let's just say three weeks ago. Mm. The slightest thing would just irritate me. Mm. Now it's just like now I think about it, like, oh, all right, fuck it, you know, just ya calma la que de qué sirve que te encabrones. Yeah, well, I mean, I think the 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 main thing is to catch yourself, right? Yeah. To know that. You're fucking, te estás pasando, wey. Mm -hmm. Like, what are you doing, you know? Kind of ask yourself. Because there's people that don't even fucking do that, way, And that's how they're always fucking, the baseline is fucking, yeah. you know? Fight or flight or whatever. Yeah, so. Está cabrón, wey. Like, I was listening to this dude that has a, uh, he has a podcast called Self-Made Man, wey. And um, he, he did it for a while, wey. That's the guy that I told you that said that, um, yeah, you know, he, do your podcast for three years and then see what's up. Oh, okay. So este way, oh, three years. Te dije, wey, eran tres años. Este way, all of a sudden, way, his body just forgot to sleep. Like his body forgot to like to sleep. Rest? Like he, his body just was in fight or flight, way. And he went to the doctors, and they didn't know what the fuck. They didn't know what to tell him, way. And um, apparently, he was addicted to this game, way. That that uh, besides having a business, and uh, he was addicted to this game, way. Where supposedly you're stuck in an island, and, like. And apparently, like the the when they were fucking treating him and all this shit, they were like, "Dude, that's because your your brain, like, you play a game. Like, I mean, a lot of people get desensitized with, like, let's say Call of Duty or some mm -hmm. shit like that. Like, you're actually like your body sometimes doesn't know the difference between you're not your life isn't in danger or your life in the game is in danger. Your body thinks that." You know, you get that adrenaline yeah. rush or, you know, when you watch a fucking scary movie, people like yeah. that. Or you watch all these fucking murder shows and, like, all of a sudden you're fucking afraid of shit. Like, your body doesn't know, like, the difference. And apparently that guy just kind of pushed it. He said he was playing the game and he heard a pop in his head. And then all I of wait. a sudden from there, like, he just couldn't sleep. And he said que se lo estaba llevando la chingada, güey. That, that was, like, pretty much fucking everything was shutting down for him. But it was something like that where I really, really think about, you know, like... Playing a fucking game and being addicted to shit like that, he must have stressed the, the fucking business and shit like that. Where I was just like tripping out, where like, 
Maybe sometimes it's that también way that we're so fucking like caught up on caught, caught up on shit that we're always fucking hundred hundred estamos trying to fucking crank shit up and and like for me personally it's like just kind of lay back a little bit you know like catch mm -hmm. yourself like I catch myself sometimes I'm like you're just doing too much or you expect too much and like mm -hmm. just fucking chill you know but I mean it's like you're, you're yeah because I mean it's like I mean I know that you have a busy schedule and I think the only day you have off I think it's Tuesday Tuesday yeah yeah it's the only your only day off and mm -hmm. Wednesday you're in the guitar class and then Thursday you're jujitsu Friday you're rehearsing Saturday you're with the mija yeah. Sunday you're with your dad también on Monday, Monday yeah. estás aquí yeah so you have all these things so maybe that's the thing it's just like well, I, ha I put a lot on my play with yeah, yeah. for sure way. And sometimes it catches up to me and I have to kind of re-strategize and, and like, I have to think like, why, why am I like so invested emotionally and shit, you know, like just relax, dude. Like who cares? Like whatever happens, happens. But I, I get so fucking, I think what happens with me también is a lot of it, I feel like I don't do enough. Like I've talked about this before with you guys, not like enough for like, I need to do more things enough to like what I'm doing. I feel like I don't do enough, mm -hmm. you know? When I go with my dad, there's always, it's never fucking like everything's cool. There's always something. Yeah. There's always like. <laughs> He's your teenager right yeah, now. Yeah, there's always like. He's your high school drama. So I fucking rush from work. Like I go to his house. I take him to the store today and I kind of set him up for the week. You know, we, and, um, and there's, it's never enough where there's always something, you know, like there's always something that. ¿Le das para su domingo también o no? En veces me pide feria, pero no le gusta que le diga where is he using it for. Oh. <laughs> so se va según que lo, con unas chinitas por ahí, güey. Yeah, según the que, que... No, no, según que... I don't know what it is, güey. They, they, they put their, their feet in some kind of like water with uh, Epsom salt or some shit and the water changes color and yeah. they put them in their heads que the, it's all the toxins, the toxins coming out of their body. So ese güey se la cree or that's what he tells me. Because I don't know, güey. Because the other day we were going to the store and he's like, oye, aquí es un con las chinitas. <laughs> And it's like a fucking, the, the, there's no signs yeah. or anything. So I'm like, what kind of place is this way? Yeah, he, yeah, you did tell us that one. But so, fuck it. All right. So he asked you for money. He asked for money. Yeah. And the the you know, they had this. So, so, yeah, you're still taking them grocery shopping. And then you said, yeah, you still got to deal with them. Yeah, it's, 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 it's tough, bro. It's definitely not easy, way. Because, but so no, you know, you think about it where like, I want to do things sometimes. And like, even going to like Vegas is like, I have to rearrange shit. Like I come back the, the fucking, and I got to figure out how to fucking give them food and shit. Cause no se nada, wey. A ver lo regañé, like, hey, aunque sea, te agarra la pinche, the napkin and clean the fucking table, wey. Like, que te cuesta? Like just because había pinches crumbs, <laughs> los pan dulces, yeah, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> los pinches cucarachas, <laughs> like, fucking having dinner. Yeah, las cucarachas, the ramosas don't exist. Ahí están, güey. I was like, hey, we got on a pinche napkin, güey. Like, ¿qué te cuesta, güey? Ay, a poco está sucia. Se hace el que the 2020, uh, 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 se hace el que the 2020 vision. <laughs> no mames. No más pase la mano, siente todo. Uh, so I, I catch myself, I, like, I, uh, just going, like, to his house, the man, I got to catch myself, like, don't get fucking, don't snap at him and shit like that way, so that's what I'm going through. Mm, shit. So maybe shit. that's part of the aggro part. It probably is, way. <clears throat> A little bit of everything, way. Yeah, no la, no la, Lopez también en el jale, you know, you got your responsibilities there, then you're driving back and forth. Pues ya ves como es el jale, way. Yeah. The job, so, I mean, I'm sure your job's the same way, way. Yeah, you always have something going on. Like, shit. it's not, uh, you get a job, and it's not like, ah, it's just a pelada. There's always something comes out, way. The simple, the, the, the one that you think is going to be the easiest is the one that fucking exactly, bro. bites you in the ass. Exactly. It's just a simple fix. Yeah. Oh, I just got to, oh, I just got to change this, or I just uh, got to fix that. And then before you know it, like, fuck, that didn't do it. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then you start fucking, all right, then you start troubleshooting, and you start chasing, and it's a bigger bigger part of it yeah. and before you know it you already spent two three hours on this shit and you're like fuck i'm still not done yeah era la fácil. no that's what happens way. <laughs> last time i said it was an easy job me duró una semana way. <laughs> oh shit <laughs> 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 era nomás <laughs> bet you era nomás la bolita del fucking the, the lever uh, right all the, it was was uh, <laughs> the air filter was dirty <laughs> oh shit <laughs> yeah we fucking it's, shit cabrón wey Oh man, but so how was Vegas? Vegas was cool, eh? It was, uh, you know what, bro? This year I noticed que Vegas no estaba tan desmadroso like the other times, eh? Ya los tienen en fila. Vegas is, it looked pretty fucking, I mean, 
<laughs> es otro pedo ya, güey. You've never been, huh? No. You've never been. So, apparently what happened was that um, when the 2008 fucking crash came, the casinos were scrambling because they were losing a lot of money. People weren't gambling. Mm -mm. So, now their focus is... They do take care of uh, gamblers, but not like they used to, way. Eh? Like the comps and shit like that. They're not there anymore. All these people worry about is the shows, way. Eh? There's a lot of concerts out there. There's a lot of fucking residencies. Like before, it was just like fucking, uh, you go like to the uh, fucking the magician shit or... Well, circus, circus. Or, or I know that. Celine Dion's been out there for a long time in a residency, but now you see all these fucking people. Santana had a residency at the Hard Rock. And so they'll do like these long fucking shows and, and I think that that's like their bread and butter. So um, even though it's it's like a party scene, but I don't know. I, I just felt like it was a little bit more kind of chill, way. Se miraba más calmado, I don't know. It was weird. And then I was I, I drank those fucking, everybody's talking about these White Claws fucking drinks. I don't know if you've seen them. Yeah, I, I keep, I see that a lot of people drinking them, but I mean, a lot of people talk shit about the people that drink them. Yeah, well, it's 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 always going to be. I mean, it's, it's, it's for people that want to drink, but want to watch. So they're of course you're gonna get shit talk. Oh, right? they're like a like a and light low beer? carbs, light beer. No, well, they, it's like that. Uh, like like uh, it's it's like a, a kind of mineral water kind of shit, mm -hmm. but with alcohol and uh -huh. it's flavored. So it's got low carbs, low sugar. Like it's it's basically if you want to watch que no quieres engordar, you drink that. So of course people are gonna talk shit with oh, mineral okay. water con vodka. I think I think it is vodka way. <laughs> something must be something. Yeah, it's something. Así que no tiene mucho no, sabor. No, this no decía en el en el en el bottle if it was vodka or not. Way. They they said something about some special kind of shit. I don't know, but I think it was vodka way. Ketamine. <laughs> Maybe yeah. I'll take some ketamine. No, porque digo el vodka normally because it, it doesn't have. Like a lot of flavor, but it tastes like alcohol because mm -hmm. there's no other flavor to it. Yeah. They say there's no odor to it, but I could always smell it. Well, so like has alcohol, odor, yeah. yeah, but a lot of people drink it because apparently it doesn't have odor. Or doesn't well, that's what I'm saying. Order. It's like the, it's. I mean, it's well, got it has, some. It has less odor, pues, y less. It's got carbs. I mean, it's colors. made out of potatoes and shit. Potatoes have carbs. But I, I'm I'm assuming it's vodka. Wait, man, people do talk shit about it. Like I know I know it is, but I've never heard of that one. Yeah, it's white claw. I mean, it's good way. But uh, yeah, I, I I know people talk shit about it. Wait. Yeah. So how yeah. was it? It was good. Yeah. I liked it. I got a nice fucking buzz. Wait. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Quantos the chestas? Pues me eché dos kind of quick because we were on our way out. Uh huh. I mean, when I go to Vegas, man, I buy packs of cigarettes. Like, I fucking buy alcohol. Like, well, it's I, I play the part with it. It's Sin City, I fucking man. buy a pack of smokes. I mean, I was fucking smoking earlier before we started recording. <laughs> and still, the smokes get me so down. So, I mean, me gusta andar fucking, andar pisteando así. When I, I mean, it's... it's te, sale, te sale el chamuco. Yeah, me sale lo vicioso, güey. Ándale. No, it's a fucking hard salsa. As it is? Okay. Hard yeah, White Claw. Right? The mango one's good, way. It's on, I mean, it's it's on by the, by the same as that that? Mike what, what, what are the carbs, though? What are the calories on that? Two, two grams 100. of carbs. It says 100 calories. Oh, all right. How many grams of uh, carbs? Two carbs, right? Carbs? Uh -huh. It's no, got two, two net. No, I said those carbs right here. Uh -huh. No, they say... Well, I just looked up the Wikipedia thing. Tiene two two grams of carbs, right? Oh, shit. A ti que te gusta el keto, güey? But I'm saying uh -huh. part of the marketing, pues, is que they're... they're Different hundred calorie fucking drinks. So that's why they're gonna talk shit with because they're like, wait, si vas a pistear, who cares if you fucking yeah, get some calories, right? Well. Yeah, because see, they have like grapefruit, but and then they have the unflavored because yeah. it's pure, I guess. Yeah, you know what? And and I don't know if you'll like it. Gluten free alcohol. Well, no, I'm I'm starting to drink those lequois. But so. this is like that when yeah. cold, way. It's yeah. the same thing, actually. That exactly. that's a good example. The lequois. It's uh -huh. it's that. Flavored with, with, with the, alcohol With a little kick yeah, That's in the it. taste So if you're okay. used to that taste already yeah. You wouldn't mind these Yeah because it got to the point Because you, you I missed the, the burn Of the 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 the, carb, the, the carbonation mm -hmm. And everything So I can't I'm not drinking sodas I'm not drinking You know none of that So La mija bought these We went to Costco And she bought them She's like let's give them a try She, yeah, she likes them yeah. She likes them yeah. So the first one I'm like Argh, You gotta get used to it But then um, Como ya no estoy tomando azúcar I'm not drinking I'm not taking sugar Or anything so these actually taste better because my taste buds are <coughs> changed now. Yeah. No te estaba diciendo, pues, el weekend que fuimos al velorio, we got the, the drink coupons. Mm. <clears throat> and I wanted uh, Jack and Diet Coke. And they didn't have Diet Coke. Mm. They had regular Coke. I'm like, ah, shit. Y luego tenían palomas. They got mm. the tequila with squirt. Yeah. So I told the girl, like, you know what? Dame poquito squirt. Not that much, you mm. know? So I took it, dude. No mames. That shit was sweet. Fucking sweet. Yo creo que hasta, me, hasta masqué, güey. Está cabrón, güey. Yeah, and, I, and then I felt fucking all pinche wheats because I'm like, 
I broke this thing that I had going. For that, oh, it wasn't yeah. even worth it. Yeah, I know, man. It wasn't worth it. So I'm no, like, ah, fuck one. it. Yeah, so I'm like, ah, fuck it, you know. But like today, I was at the store with my dad, and I saw that that uh, by by los quesos ahí en el pinche Northgate. Next to the Queso Plus. Next to Queso Plus. <laughs> okay. The Snickers had a little que they have this pro Snickers way. They have this protein <laughs> drink. Okay. So I'm sure se la come la gente, güey. Oh, pues oh it's tiene problem. protein. Yes, yeah. I, I looked to the back, way. It's got like 30 grams of carbs and like 35 grams of sugar. So they they advertise it. La gente va a mirar que, oh, shit, 18 grams tiene, of protein. 18, oh, 18 grams of protein. Yeah, lo van a ver. Y, ah, está chido, pues, uh -huh. before the gym. And you look in the back, and it's got like 30 grams of carbs and 30-something 30, 30 grams of sugar. Wey. Está cabrón, güey. <laughs> But um, but you know, I mean, it's just it's just one of those things. Where, and I'm sure if if like you si dices que te Camila palate, si te tomas uno de esos, it's gonna be super sweet, way. Yeah. No, it, it's just. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still miss it. I mean, yeah. I miss the sugar. I miss the the you know. I miss the tortilla. I miss the bread. Yeah. Pero, no, no se ha dado nada de pan, güey. No. No. Shit, bro. Nada de pan and nada. No, 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 this weekend, it's just I had that one drink mm. and I even got not, like, not nauseous, pero como que me cayó mal. Or no sé qué era que se me sentía asqueado, güey. Estaba like, Ugh. I wasn't comfortable. So we ended up leaving like around 11. Mm. You know, so it's just like, I just didn't feel it anymore. I'm like, uh, yeah, no, fuck that. But have you already gotten to the point where it feels like it makes you a little antisocial? Like, there's not really much that. Yeah. But I could see where? Yeah, it kind of um, makes you, like, because you're like, fuck. Uh, not that I'm a, I'm not afraid, but I'm not, not even concerned. But it's just like, eh, si nos invitan a ir a comer, I don't want to be that guy that, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, oh, I, don't I can't that. have yeah. this or I can't. Have, it's like, fuck. Oh, you have to explain, like, Yeah, why. and most of the temples, este, este sábado, Fernie and I, we went to mm -hmm. meet up con estos compas de No Father, No Problem. Yeah. And they brought tamales. Oh, shit. They brought tamales and I'm How like, were they, were? Don't chill, don't Yeah, from where? Ah, so some lady. Oh, oh, they, oh shit. from the corner. I have, it's I in the parking lot. So they, they they have the park down already. They have. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh wait. No más como te dos cosas a las diez viene el lotero. Yeah, yeah. Hasta champurrado tenían y todo. So no, no te chingas. No nada. I mean, I had my coffee, and the thing is, I didn't have um, I. Salí barrido de la casa because I was just able to make coffee. I didn't even have a breakfast. I didn't even take it because we have those little egg um, mm. tarts or like mm. queso. En la casco los venden mm. con huevo, queso y bacon. Mm. You know, unos dos de esos and I'm good. Mm. Which I've noticed that, that like I I get full. Well, now I'm not full, but I get, I'm comfortable now just with mm. a little something in la, in la panza, güey. Mm. Antes no, antes tenía que atascarme y sentirme lleno to be like, okay, I'm I'm good now. But yeah, it, it does make you a little, I'm not antisocial, but it's like, fuck, dude, we don't. You know, the other thing I was thinking too the other day is like when I bought the pack of cigarettes at a, a fucking, um, in Vegas, where that I'm thinking a lot of people say that, oh yeah, it's it's a good social thing. Uh -huh. And I was really thinking about that way. The cigarettes make you antisocial. Yes, I do. Because te da pena and you excuse yourself. And mm -hmm. you go away from people to smoke. Mm -hmm. Like, how is that a social it, it, smoker? I think it used to be, because that's a term from back in the day. Yeah, though. it doesn't apply anymore. That doesn't apply anymore. Because you have to excuse yourself. Te mm -hmm. da pena. Mm -hmm. You gotta go find that little corner, too. Y luego you're self-conscious because you're smelling like, yeah. like, like cigarette. And then you want to go wash up yourself. Exactly. Or lavarte las manos, right. o la boca, la cara. Yeah. So that when you're around, no te den la mirada, like, oh, mm -hmm. oh you smell, oh. Yeah. There's supposed to be a book that you finish reading it and you're supposed to like supposedly que ya you're you, done? you quit. Oh, okay. yeah, supp supposedly that this guy wrote a book of uh con el alcohol también. And supposedly you read it and he lets you drink and if it's the smoky one, he talks about smoking while you read it. But supposedly that when you finish reading that that that's it way. Okay, people there's a, like has a high success rate of people just fucking stop smoking way. A, and it created this little thing where people that smoke are like, I'm not reading that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting brainwashed. <laughs> Fuck that. But, but I, I heard some facts on that book, where, and I don't know if they're true or not, but what he was saying is that... There's witchcraft involved. No, no. What he's saying is that the whole that it's hard to quit is, is uh, propaganda from the tobacco industry. That's what you were telling me, Tamini, with um, this to Paul Banks. Paul Banks with, was talking um, with Bobby Lee. Yeah, Tiger yeah. Belly. 
And and that's the same book that Paul he, Banks was talking right. about. Okay. He was referencing that same book that supposedly smoking cigarettes is not it's not hard to quit like the like everybody that all that is tobacco industry kind of propaganda mm-hmm. to make you feel like it's impossible to drink or oh fuck I don't want to go yeah. through that. Oh, and for the listeners to know, Paul Banks is the singer of the Interpol. Interpol, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We saw him on Friday at the Minute yeah. Vegas. I saw that you and yeah. the and your Mika were putting up the the little feeds. I'm like, fuck yeah, oh shit. They sound they're pretty good. Yeah. Where, yeah. Rosemary. Pinchy Chelsea, where I compré, I, I got a. Because, you, you know, we don't really drink way, so we're kind of feeling a little sick way with like, uh, I don't even know what the guy made me. I told him, well, make me something that you feel confident with. And I think he made me like a Long Island last year or something. Uh-huh. Is that like a drink? <laughs> yeah. Right? A drink of the way. Wait, yeah. exactly. exactly. <laughs> like, lo, lo vi, you know, like, I'm like, sure, bro, I'll take that. And then he started doing all this shit. I was like, oh, shit, did I do the right thing with it? Yeah, <laughs> it's literally le chale todo, man. Wait, halfway into that fucking drink, I'm not yeah. bien pedo, güey. He estaba encuerado también, güey. Y andaba bien pedo. And you know what's crazy, güey, is that Interpol is like fucking, I want to say like 85, 90% of the audience. Chicano. Raza, güey. Yeah. Raza, güey. Fucking... I ran into some guy, and no lo saludé because it's been kind of desmadroso. But some guy that I, we met in Atlanta at the festival, he was in fucking at that show with Interpol. Wey. Pero es bien desmadroso, güey, so no lo quise saludar, güey. ¿Era raza o era? Era raza, güey, yeah. <laughs> Chilango. Chilango, güey. Oh, wait a minute. Did you tell us that story? I don't know, maybe. But um, so I bought a water, güey. It's one of those fucking uh, airplane waters. The baby waters? 650, güey. No mames. Yeah, güey. Esa me doy lo más que el pinche. Did you save it? Luego te ibas al water fountain y lo llenabas, güey. Me doy lo más de pagar $6.50 for that water que el pinche hígado with the drink, güey. Estás bien pedo, güey. Dude, bro. Because you know you're drinking, you're smoking, güey. Yeah, you fucking get a nice little bottle. Can you smoke in the concert hall right there? Or was it open air or was it a... No, it was inside the Cosmopolitan's little venue called the Chelsea. Uh-huh. Está chingón, güey. You could smoke in there? Yeah, No, I don't know. I didn't I didn't try that smoking. In there. But in the casino, pues ya sabes, wey. Yeah. You walk out of the venue, pues ahí hey, you're fucking puffing away, wey. But yeah, they sound good, wey. They're playing with Morris, you know, like yeah, at the end of the month or some shit. I think they they already played here at the at the Rose Bowl. <clears throat> so I was thinking, like, you know, I mean, they don't really sound the same way, but I think they go together because the raza, the raza, yeah, they share the fucking yeah, raza. Dude, audio. I mean, it's one of no más porque no le tengo confianza al pinche Morris, wey. Because he's gonna cancel. Yeah. I mean, you still get to listen to Interpol, which I like. But I'm like, eh, I know our compa from uh, Hippie Cholo, Jesse, went to go see them. Where at? Uh, over there in Austin. Oh, they were playing? Yeah. Who, Interpol? Uh, and, and Morrissey. Oh, shit, they yeah. already did the show? Mm-hmm. A little tour. Yeah, they already. Yeah, so they... they, they what did he say? You like them? Yeah, he's, uh, I think he talks about it uh, two episodes ago or something. He's talking about it. I don't know. And uh, that, yeah, that, like he's already seen Morrissey, but it was, you know, it's still cool because he's listening to it and it's, it, como no está, he's not over here in L.A. or in Linwood. Mm-hmm. When he was over there, it's like it started getting nostalgic on him. Oh, yeah. It started Remind like, fuck, reminding home. him of things of back home and, you know, moments. And I'm sure that, you know, quien no escucha canciones and then you connect them to something, you know? Yeah. Some girls are bigger than, than others. <laughs> like, oh man, me acuerdo de la Juanita. La, gordita. la Juanita. Como le echaba ganas oh. a esa gordita. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> era, era ponedora la cara. Le cabrana. decían la Duli, pero. <laughs> I had a homie que le, he, he was going out with some girl que le decían la Duli. La Duli? Yeah. Uh, doble tracción, güey. Yeah, no. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. No, of course not, güey. No. Fucking. Yeah, so, fucking, so estuvo chingón el concierto. The concert was really good way yeah uh, I, I had fun way it was a, it was a good time way. so you little, needed that little break i needed that little break he, he asked uh i took my laptop and i took my guitar way oh okay but also i was still kind of resisting way like i even i mean i don't really travel like that and then this time i, I travel with my guitar because mm-hmm. i fucking didn't want to stop playing mm-hmm. and i travel with the laptop because like, there's some shit that i needed to do with so the laptop, I was able to not fucking touch it, mm-hmm. but like guitar, see, where I was just fucking playing. ¿Y dejas a la mija dormir o cómo le haces? She's understanding, way. I, I, <laughs> I fucking, I'm, I'm lucky, way. Because you know shit like that, way. Yeah. Hey, what the fuck? We're on vacation. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. You know? Fucking, ¿qué me quieres hacer nada? Pero sabes que, güey, lo bueno que es Vegas, way. And you know, Vegas, you know, um, some people try a little bit harder, you know, they want to go all out, they dress up a little bit more. Mm-hmm. So I knew I had like an hour, hour and a half window 
for her to get ready. So I was like, that's where I'm going to practice. Oh, it. okay. Yeah. So I sneaked Blanco it in mania, there. Like, yeah, I, hey, sneaked hey, it. I sneaked it in there. You know, so. And you were ready in what, in 15 minutes? Uh, yeah, no, I was done. <laughs> get ready in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready in 15 minutes. Bañado, <laughs> tal, everything, tal, way, yeah. Fucking yeah. lotioned up. Everything, bro. I was fucking with the, with the patchouli al cien. Vámonos, I'm on I'm on I'm pinche. Let's hit up those video poker machines that I like. <laughs> <laughs> Hang out with the local old folks. <laughs> oh, fucking. Well, yeah. well, that's good, man. Yeah, because it felt weird, like not hearing from you for like it was almost like a weekend. I know it was a long time, man. Yeah, it felt weird because um, I know that we weren't really texting on the chain, and then when we did, you were not answering. So I'm like, ah. uh, you know what? Is that my girl? The was like, hey, have you heard from the guys? And I was like, no, nah, I haven't heard from them. And um, so she, even she thought it was weird. That we weren't really communicating. Yeah, that's why I'm like, well, I mean, I knew you were out there, so I'm not going to start chingando. Mm. I did say some things, mm. but I'm like, yeah, you're not going to answer because, you know, you're you're busy. Yeah. You're busy. And so, yeah, Fernie and, Kai, Fernie and I were like, oh, you know, we would answer, but I mean, a day late or something, or yo también, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's cool that your sister fucking came in, man. I saw the feedback. Like, it's, it's cool that at least, because he, I mean... You just think about it, way. I mean, if you're taking this shit serious, I know we've we've been kind of sometimes we lax it. Like, yeah, let's do it on Tuesday or let's do it on Wednesday or yeah. Thursday. But see, way when you think about it, if you're doing something serious, way like you you watch a show, you're expecting that show to be on yeah. the time that you want it to be on, way. Yeah. So I think that that's really cool that we have we're, we're starting to like. I mean, we've always taken it serious, way. No, oh, yeah. It's never. It's, I mean, we've just but there's joking. been times. No, but there's been some times like because this shit happens. Yeah. And you know we got to work on that backup. You know. Yeah. We used to. Re- we used yeah. to have like a couple in the fucking in, in the, the hard drive in the vault. <laughs> hey, wait, I need a week off. Fuck it, I keep no Yeah, like, no pedo. yeah mm, fucking. No pedo. It's a little off because that shit happened like six months ago. I know. And we're talking. <laughs> well, with the whole Irby story, remember? Yeah. We were talking at one point. We start bringing up Irby and the Rasa like, what the fuck are they talking? But then mm. Fernie drops a month later the herb the Honestly. original the original or where the herby got brought up and I'm like yeah. oh, what bro. happened to that company where you still use it or ah uh, ahorita no pues no tengo que me dio la madre güey so I haven't really so worried about it. Miedo, okay? no 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 so how do you get to work um the bike and um the what you might call it I'm almost gonna be doing some fucking Spartan races somewhere <laughs> that fucking, oh wait, I can't I, I mean, mean you already did a marathon a lot of people don't know that shit you, you fucking <laughs> ran a marathon fucker 28 miles 26.2 god damn bro but 8 hours wait. hey it's but like, tell us about como andabas alucinando on one mile way. Super, um <laughs> I think my so the, everybody everybody in the a lot of the runners a lot of the people that do this and you know they do it for like extended time they always say that there's a point where you you just hit the wall you know you hit the wall and that's it's either, what they call it yeah you just hit the wall because is that yeah. when your nipples start fucking bleeding and shit and <laughs> no your that's, toenails are fucking yeah out? they're they're coming out and the blisters are popping and it's just and some people's nipples yeah. start fucking bleeding the guys bleeding a lot of the guys or well, I mean the ladies the shirt. but the ladies are more used to it but the guys como no tienen support <laughs> se ponen curitas o se ponen Ay, really, they balazos de wey for <laughs> Chavez Ravine mal too wey they don't balazos ahí pinche por eco park el culero le quisieron bajar la cartera y no se dejó wey <laughs> and I'm Chilangos, I think. I'm, I'm oh, not gentrifying the neighborhood. I'm just running the marathon, guys. <laughs> no mames. So, what you might call it? Um, so, they always say they have this. So, before that, I, I, I trained for you it. You prep for I it. I prep yeah. for it. And I mean, it's a, it's a full, legit yeah. marathon. I, I started like in September, October. When's no, the marathon, May? In March. Okay. So, I started like in August, late August, mid, uh, early the September. The things we do for love, way, huh? I know, right? <laughs> this is a prime example. I, I know, and I was trying to like, ah, you <laughs> know. Para que la mija. Pero también I wanted that. This is something. It's a marathon la pela. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm like, do that. I could, I could handle it. Yeah, you know? 20, tw- how many months? 26.2. 26 I can handle it. I got it. this. I got this. Yeah, so fucking, I would run in the mornings and then llegaba and then cuando llegó lo frío, güey, o de las lluvias, like in November, mm-hmm. fuck, I think I took a month off, lo que es lo, like, not even a month and a half, lo que viene siendo like Thanksgiving to like New Year, mm-hmm. nah, me daba hueva, güey. Oh, shit. Sure. So then I hit well, it that's back. That's when the San Marcos came out. I know. <laughs> and then I hit it back again in January, February, y ya pues March ya era, güey. You so ready or what? I was ready. No? I was confident because ya, ya podía yo ser like about 18 miles. But uh, with my rhythm, which was uh, you you run to, you, you like not run, but like kind of like jog or trot it, mm. 
Two, and then uh, you walk two minutes. Mm -hmm. Run two minutes, walk two minutes. Run two minutes. And uh, así me la llevaba, so I was with that pace. Is that something that you created or no, somebody told you? No, it's the team. I was with a, with, a run, with a group, que era Run Walk. Oh. It was a Run Walk group, and mm -hmm. it was, uh, you know, two minutes. So we already had a schedule. We were supposed to finish the race in five hours and 45 minutes or five like it was under the six hours just, just a little shy under the canyons yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah just a little shy right behind them right behind them you know we were right on their fucking heels dude <laughs> yeah right <laughs> so yeah, right. so I, I i had it so at mile 18 i noticed that at mile 18 fuck yeah yeah ya me dolía, hmm. but it wasn't you know it wasn't that bad so que pasó Fucking here comes uh fucking the the the, the how, marathon. How much were you weighing at that time? Right? I think I was like in um like in my two forties, two thirties. Two forties, two thirties. Yeah, I wasn't that big. Mm. Estaba cuadrado, pero no estaba como ahorita. You yeah. know, estaba cuadrado. He says. Estaba cuadrado. I was still wearing. I think I was <laughs> still wearing. <laughs> I was still wearing size thirty eight, size forty pants. Oh shit! Yeah, oh, you were rocking the hipster. Fucking. Yeah, the, the size. No oh, shit. So I was still wearing those. You're still shopping at H and M. Yeah, and I can still <laughs> I can still walk into a store and get a two X shirt or one X shirt or lo que era y me quedaba. You were an athlete, bro. You know, I'm running marathon. Though. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck it. So the day of the marathon comes, yamonos, boom. And I had my watch. I had my my um fucking Garmin. Mm -hmm. It was a Garmin watch. You gotta let and 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 I had it already set. You know, beep 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 beep. Fucking cuando sonaba, I gotta walk it. Beep, 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 beep. Orale, a correr. Y así me la llevaba. And fucking around mile four, we're in a little Tokyo. And in downtown. Ay, dice Ramón, las sopas huelen chingonas. Pinche ramen. Just start for some lo mein. So, right there by uh, the, the, uh, the Disney. Carbs. Yeah, the pork belly smells good right now. I know. I need some carbs. <laughs> I need a carb up. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, where's my group? <laughs> need to load up on some carbs. I don't know. the Walt Disney concert hall? Yeah. I think it's up on the hill. I, I don't know if it's on Temple. I forget. Uh, yeah, or Grand. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But right below it, está la una pinche calle. I think it's temple, like está de abajo or for, whatever. Mm. The thing is that I'm at the bottom of the hill, and at the top están los pinches, uh, the Japanese drummers. Dum, tuku, dum, tuku, oh, shit, they're rooting you guys yeah, on? Yeah, they're rooting everybody on, right? So, fucking, um, I'm walking. I'm, I'm Actually, I'm jogging, and then it stops. It beeps right at the bottom of the hill, so I'm like, okay, I gotta walk it up. Pero como ya llevaba mo momentum, mm. and I'm hearing the drums, they hit, fuck Te yeah. I, I came out like, this is fucking, this is motivation. Se, se te metió el espíritu so, santo. que ándale. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> fucking. <laughs> la, la fuerza del santo niño de Atocha was with me that day, baby. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so que me agarro corriendo, like, I, I start jogging it up, oh, and I'm uh, fucking, and I'm, I'm hustling. Yeah. No mames, um, three quarters of it, yeah, yeah, I was feeling it, but I'm like, no, yeah, I'm already, I'm almost there, mm -hmm. let me just finish it, let me get to the top, and I get to the top, <sighs> dude, I hit the wall at mile four. So what is the wall? Cansancio, way. Mm. you're like, That's yeah. That's what the, the runners call it? Yeah, they, yeah, you hit the wall where, mm. like, you're drained already, mm. and you're just like, ya lo demás, it's just, you're, you're just going on muscle memory, and you're just going on adrenaline. Oh, shit. On adrenaline and just remember your training, you so know. So nothing hurts at this point. Uh, no, but you're just really tired. Mm. So I, yo creo que en esa pinche little hustle up the hill. No, nah, y dejaste todos los frijoles, güey. Todo, güey. <laughs> <laughs> toda la olla se fue. Ahí wey. dejó toda la pinche olla, güey. Todo el pinche Hasta lo main. Hasta el sello, güey. Ahí dejó el sello también, güey. Yeah. <laughs> todo lo main. Got burnt right there. Fuck, <laughs> quedó todo, güey. Pinche. So, no mames. So, so this was mile 18? Mile 4, güey. Ay, güey, no mames. <laughs> I, hit the I thought wall. he was going to the final stretch, man. No. I'm gonna finish this strong. No way! Oh, it was shit, we're, at we're mile to, four. This was so intense. I thought we were like already <laughs> almost finishing the fucking marathon. I, no. I could see the ribbon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could see the Honda on the wind. You know? No, no, mama. So yeah, yeah. Put over the medalla. I was winded. So this I was, was all mile tired. four. No, I was. Way, I was just like drained. What's up with the prep, way? No, well, I I <laughs> fucked up because I went out of my my. Uh, I should have walked it instead of running. You're like, fuck this watch. I got yeah. this. So, so not, and then fuck this hill. I can yeah. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Fuck you, this hill. You peak, bro. Yeah, and then the pinches of drums are like, boom, 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 Ah, boom, you boom. felt the pre-pressure, Yeah. Man. So. No, I, I, I thought I was going to say like mile 22. <laughs> 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 it so, was such a dramatic story. So, dude, everybody, I tell this story, and they're like, "No, mama is like, oh yeah, what mile was it? Yeah, mile four. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. So, no, mama. So at that point, 
I, it's psychologically, yeah. it started fucking with me. No way, bro. Yeah, because I'm all like, what the fuck? Yes, the God, how can I be so tired? I train so much. And then I start putting myself down. You fucking piece of shit. Mm-hmm. You're a fucking failure, bro. Yeah, no mames. My and that was never right. got that low main. That was right. <laughs> fucking, you could have laid off the fucking the, the, the pork belly <laughs> and shit. But no, you went two fucking servings. Querías a side of eight, querías, uh, Luego querías el huevito hervido. All right. <laughs> Fuck you, little Tokyo. Fuck you, little Tokyo. And then, ah, uh, so I'm, you know, at this point, I'm just walking, trying to see if I could get my, the, 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 como sería? Not even strength, but just get back into the rhythm of it. Mm-hmm. Right? And the watch is going off. I should be running right now, and I'm not, and I'm walking. <laughs> so, um, at this point, I'm like in, uh, what is it, Echo Park? Uh huh. And it's a downhill. I'm like, aquí aprovechate. Dice yeah, Ramón, está guisados. No, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aprovecha, <laughs> cabrón. Like right now, this is downhill. You could get good speed right here. Oh, yeah. What As shoes going, were you wearing? I was wearing um, they were for running shoes, but mm. they call them the beast because uh, for flat feet. Oh, so, so they're wider. They molded it for yeah. you, or did and, you get them? No, they're they're by. It's a shoe company called Brooks. Oh, okay, and I they're the the, be, they're the the beast. Oh. So they're wider for flat feet and everything mm. for heavier people, and it was cushioned. But and, they're really comfortable. Yes, mm. I still I still have it's a pair. Model, yeah. I use them you for. They look like those fucking Kanye shoes, way. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah? I'm a model, way. No way, like space shoes? I won't wear them to go out. I wear them. To, no, it's just it's like, they look orthopedic. Yeah, si se ven. <laughs> no, no son. Yeah. They look orthopedic. Yeah, yeah, just like I don't understand that pinchy fashion where you with those big fucking Kanye Col- shoes. Yeah, right? and then only that, the colors that they have, I guess. What colors you get? Well, no tenía otro. I wanted some black ones. Mm-hmm. But oh, yeah, because those are like bright. You yeah, wanted like, some Cortez looking yeah, ones. I want, you know, <laughs> I want some hood shit, you know? Yeah, like, you're going to run the marathon with some Cortez ones? Oh, no, way. Fuck, no. No, I get the kills, way. No, it's que los Cortez. <laughs> Mal too, way. Ese que en la mesa de lo main. I know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, dude. Ahí te quedas ahí por la Alameda, way. Yeah. Alameda. <laughs> <laughs> so then, um, so in Echo Park, I'm going down, y están unos cabrones. Ya ves como la, no la raza, porque no la raza, eran pinches, pinches bolillos, güey, eran uh-huh. pinches güeros. Uh-huh. Ahí estaban, en tener una pinche mesita, donde, de una mesita fuera, like, hey, free beer, free cigarettes. Uh-huh. Free, They were giving that shit? Yeah, but like, hey, just sit down and relax, como, uh-huh. trying to keep people from running. Really? La malicia, güey. Oh, shit. Yeah, they're just being fucking evil fucks, but. Yeah, hey, vas to peer No, and I'm looking at it, <laughs> and I'm looking at it, y de repente I just get the fucking cravings, you know? No way. I'm like, Fucking shit, you know, ya me metió eso en la cabeza. I'm like, no fucking way. And I'm just, now I'm really pissed. Mm. And I'm walking and I'm like, fucking, and I try to run, pero I como que no tengo la energía, güey. Mm. I don't, I just don't have, I, I, I left it all over there in the fucking hill. You peaked them out for it. Yeah. <laughs> I left it over there. Now we're mile six in Echo Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, güey. Y los güeros trying to get you to smoke and, and drink. Drink and fucking, and just uh, sit down and relax and just chit chat with them. Fuck, güey. <clears throat> so, I boy and <laughs> I'm by, I, I'm, I'm going through Hollywood, you know, Paso Silver Lake. You Are you listening Hollywood. to music? Yes. Mm. I'm listening to music, but at this point, I'm like, I'm listening to music, but I'm not paying attention to it because in my mind, mm. I'm putting myself down. Mm. Oh, shit. Yeah, because I'm like, why the fuck did you do it? You should, you had a fucking regimen, you had this, yeah, I get it, I'm not, you, you know, it's, you're your worst enemy. So is that one of the hardest things you've ever done? I think so. Yeah, right? Yeah. Psychologically? Psychologically, it fuck. fucked me over. Wow. Dude. And uh, mile 13, I'm like, you know what? Just fucking, aquí quédate, güey. At least you could say you did half a marathon. Mm. Call the mija when she finishes, call, have her come pick you up plus nobody's expecting you to finish this you know mm-hmm. i was telling myself that everybody does, won't even believe i mean they they don't expect you to finish it so if you tell them you finish halfway it, that's more believable mm-hmm. nobody even thought that you're taking this serious you know yeah. so just prove them right mm-hmm. and, uh, and this is me telling me sure and i'm like fuck no so i kept walking and then uh where we're like uh, in cover city no is it cover city sure. yeah and yeah. in cover city oh, santa monica yeah like i'm right before S- starts by dodger stadium right yeah and it, ends in and it goes through chinatown and it goes through downtown and little tokyo and then it comes up and Nice little down. scenic route. Yeah. Hell oh, yeah, it's very scenic, dude. Mm-hmm. And then you go down Echo Park, Silver Lake, and then you go to oh, Hollywood. Sunset. Yeah. Yeah, Hollywood, and then from so Hollywood. Se, se from Sunset? Yeah. Oh, shit. So you're good through the Palisades and all that shit? No, um, no, because you don't, you, on Hollywood, you cut down across to like Santa Monica Boulevard. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So around there, yeah, Pase Hollywood, I'm in Cover City, way, and um, fucking, yeah, the thing is that while I was in Hollywood, I 
todavía gente running. When I'm like in Culver City, dude, there's like little people now, like little bit of people. Running, ya the big crowd, ya pasó, güey. I thought there was little people. I know, I thought, I thought <laughs> you were saying little people. Little <laughs> people, Los, Los Angeles. Los Duendes. <laughs> they caught up to you, güey, yeah, no. no, A bunch of gnomes, dice Ramón. <laughs> yeah, they got short little feet, güey. Yeah, ya me están to... pasando, güey. Yeah, ya dice Ramón, ya me agüité, güey. Yeah. I gotta bring for, for it. For them, it's fucking 40-something miles, so, 50 miles. So then, um, uh, I so then I, I, on Cover City, I got that little second one that I wanted. And I, and I remember start running, but I don't remember the details from I guess from but you see the Cover City to the veterans um hospital right there in Westwood. Mm -hmm. I remember certain little parts but no me acuerdo. Like it was just I had my eyes closed and I'm just thinking and I'm putting myself down and just keep going and doing it y paraba, but it's it's like a blank. That section is a blank mm -hmm. for me. So when I finally make it to the veterans uh the VA hospital ya me acuerdo because I saw el pinche pasto oh my god it looks so green and I, I just wanted to lay down on it yeah yeah but I, then you thought nah I get really itchy fuck yeah, that I do <laughs> fuck that dude. but in este, in este momento me, me valía madre wey so I'm like fuck you're already a mile 18 you know you're already a mile 18 by this time my team the, the group that I was in ya acabaron wey oh shit they already finished they're already fucking cheering with yeah beer and they're, already, up. they're already at the fucking bar <laughs> The mija already finished. Shit, bro. Right? So I'm at the VA and I'm like, just just fucking quit. You're close by right here. Just call her y que venga por ti. And, you know, you're good. You know, you're not going to disappoint anybody. Mm -hmm. Because everybody was already thinking you're not going to make it. And I keep telling myself this. And, you know, de repente, once I get into the San Vicente, like in the Westwood area, it's all like a slight downhill. Mm -hmm. Y que me agarro, and I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> That's already a conversation now. <sighs> so I'm fucking going down here, way, and I'm I'm just pissed. At this point, I'm pissed. I'm pissed at myself. Oh. So I don't know how I make it down to Ocean Boulevard, which is the la the last stretch. Hmm. Only she's a maniac. <laughs> she's a maniac. <laughs> so at that point, yeah, I'm just walking. My my feet are killing me. My legs, my back, all the all the training. And everything I'm like, hurts. Yeah, I'm like the training. But chingoso madre, why did I even train? Shit. Because I was supposed to make it to this point perfectly. You know, not perfectly, but I was supposed to make it to this point with the team, with the group. Mm. You know. Ya, fucking, ya, by this time, ya son siete horas, güey. Ya, wey. ya está oscureciendo, güey. Ya, yeah, you no, know, not only that, ya, yeah, I can see in the back, I can hear the trucks picking up all the, the, the barriers. Ya <laughs> está todavía, güey. And, and picking up the porta potties. <laughs> no, güey. And I turn around y los veo, dije, hijos de su puta madre. No me esperaron los culeros. No, and then they're, like, and then they're... <laughs> and at some point, they're, like, uh, the, the, the traffic control, they're telling you to start running on the sidewalk. Oh, yeah, they're like, let's <laughs> yeah, wrap it up, yeah, guys. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. of, these are the last ones. <laughs> these are the forgotten fucking. So no mames, wait, and I'm like, fuck this That's shit. So I got a little bit, y me adelanto, just past the fucking traffic control people, and just so that I could have like, at least at least five blocks. Uh, los cabrones que están limpiando, mm. just have a little fucking five block window or you don't have gap to on the sidewalk. With yeah, you? so I boy wait, and I'm going, <laughs> and then all of a sudden um, I yeah. see the finish line, and when I cross it, like cruz todo emputado, wey. I'm like fucking mad, I'm like because there's nobody there. Or yeah, <laughs> no, 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 uh, no, estoy ahí, <laughs> no, no. They're, they're I was taking down the arch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the time the el güey está quitando el reloj. Yeah, he's fucking. They're chatting it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what are you doing after, bro? I don't know, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it was like eight hours or something. Shit, that's a whole fucking day of work. Bro. Yeah. So fucking. It took me eight hours to fucking do 26.2 miles. Fuck, where? And I was pissed. When I got the fucking metal, ni me la, ni dije que me la pusieran encima. I just like. It's like I had postpartum depression, where <laughs> You know, uh, well, well, well. I know. Uh, well, when I was explaining to somebody what I went through, they're like, "Dude, that's that's uh, you're almost describing postpartum, where you this metal you didn't even want it. Like, man, it's just like I fucking hate you. Really? Damn. Yeah, I have it at the home. I have the plaque and everything because so you I don't give a shit about it. No, dude, just, that's pretty impressive. It bro. is, but it's like you gotta understand. There's like the, what's connected to it is just I was just putting myself down. It was like one of the harshest moments. I know, but you overcame that. Like yeah. you have to, you have to really think about what you accomplished. Right? <laughs> Were you at the apartment when I got home? No, it was Fernie when I got home, right? Yeah. Hey, man, todo emputado, güey. Yeah, bro. Yeah, ni sus pinche story, güey. Dude, I would be proud no of that. Nada. No, pero es que 
El accomplish was stuck wrong way. We all agree, right? Yeah. Pero sus pinche 18 miles was like how many months before way? Because remember when you yeah. stopped, you never made it back up to no, 18 I miles didn't. way. <laughs> when it started I think again, it was like right before Calasas. November. Yeah. After no. he said after that break, after like the holiday break, yeah. Que le dio hueva, yeah. He never got back up to the 18 no, miles way. But I figured, Tal but Tal the most I got up to like so he the, wasn't ready, ready. Yeah, right. No, so the lo que viene siendo the January to like uh, March or whatever. I think the most that I got up to was 13, but I know that I had already made 18. So by 13, no estaba tan cansado. Mm. But I'm like, I had already mm, done 18. That's not how I remember it, Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. So. Si te la jalaste after. Yeah. yeah. I, and, and I think that's part of my fault, but I really, like, in my mind, I'm like, I got this. I got this. Uh, this is perfect. And um, the shoes, they were broken in. They, they, my feet felt good. And no me, you know, me dolía tanto. I was lighter than I was now. So it was like, it was, it was pretty good. And yeah, I did lose some weight. You know, but it's just like, it was, you know, it was just, I, I hit the wall at mile four. I don't know, man. I, I would, I would, I would, I don't know. I, I feel like you should. Be proud of that. I, you know what? And maybe Dude, people yeah. fucking died. No, I, I told them, even people when he was telling the story. People died running marathons. When he was telling the story, ton cabronado, wey, que yeah. no, que pinche ni llegó la mero. Allá, allá estás a pinche la mero. Dick, no mames. He didn't care. Like, la, la, la aventó en la cama, wey. Like, vergas. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Like, cause he walked in, tall little grumpy pants, tiró la pinche medalla. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> if the full fridge. Tiró la medalla, wey. Ay, ay, wey. No, I don't know. I think he went to, like, the kitchen. No sé qué pega el agua, you know. Go get a Snack. And the yaka se calmó sore. poquito, me dejó fucking ton cabronado su pinche story, pero ya bien aguado. Y I told me, wall way, go away, better you and me. I, I'm not going to run a marathon. Yeah, fuck that. Way, fuck I can't that run that way. shit. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I never yeah. fucking finished that. And way. then everybody was like, hey, so you ready for the next one? Fuck no. Nah. Ni no. madres. No. I already did it. And it's one of those that, like, yeah, I'm not meant for running. You know, I mean, you can say you did it, way. Yeah. But me shit. Ah. Esta, esta, es el amor, es yeah, más, the things si llego si a la casa Si llego a la casa les mando la foto Es un fair, a ver No te acuerdas Oh Oh, the, uh, the, the verb. No, o sea, better sweet symphony. No, yeah. ponle, ponle la de pinche la de. What's it? All around me, a familiar. <laughs> la que le gusta. That's when you're writing. Right? Yeah, oh, it's it, a mad, mad world. Yeah. Pero the one, the, the Donnie Darko version. Oh, the so I like that one better, yeah. I don't know, man. I think you should reevaluate that memory, bro. You know, so I, and uh, I will. I think you fucking went through. You overcame a lot of fucking. Dude, no mamas. The shit that you were telling yourself and to still overcome it, way, I think you should be proud of that way. Yeah, and that one, it, but at the man in my window because it's like the the it, it's nobody was telling me this. This is me telling me this. It's on the masme. Like it was kind of like it, I, it was like me being the I was the hardest on me that I've you know despite the look at me, ex wife, you know what I went through with the ex wife. I think this was the the second most harshest shit that I've. That I've dealt with At least as You know How would you would have felt If you quit at Mile 13 where uh, I, I think it would have been worse I mean It would have been yeah. worse It would have been worse Because I wouldn't even have way. I wouldn't even have The, the metal But it's not like You don't even give a shit about yeah, it Yeah so. No I, I mean Believe it or not I have it And I and I could tell the story And everything They're Like yes I did run a marathon And it's off the bucket list I could say I did it And it's off the bucket list mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not um, Very content about it But it's one of those Where like I'm gonna get to a point where I'm gonna, I'm not as as bitter as I was maybe six years ago, seven years ago. <laughs> it was pretty bad about it. Yeah, ahorita now I'm okay with it. Now, now I, I recognize it. Like, yeah, it's a it's a huge compliment. I mean, accomplishment. accomplishment. Yeah. You know, I, you know, I I I kind of I I went at it with myself and I ended up you know overcoming. So, are you telling yourself similar things right now that you're changed the way you're eating? Not not as much. I think it that I you know what, that's a good point because I think that might have prepared me for this. It's um it's definitely this is a this is a, the second no, this is a, like the third hardest thing I've been done doing. Like just cutting out mm. you know, bread, sugar, starches. I mean I miss my mis frijolitos, way. I miss those, I miss my cereal, I miss my taquitos, I miss, you know, uh, you know, and like you said, fucking the holidays are coming. And remember, we're really like, ah, I got this. Mm-hmm. No way. El pinche sábado when we went to record with uh, No Father, No Problem. Mm-hmm. Los tamalitos right there. And I see Fernie eating them. I had to walk away. 
Qué mal amigo. No, no, pero Se comió uno, güey. Se comió uno. Trae hambre. And then uh, the, we took a break y el, el, el Frankie, el Frankie se echa otro and he's eating. And I'm sitting right there on the table oh. and I'm looking at him and I'm like, fuck, dude. And, I, and I'm not looking, I'm saying, oh my God, I want some. I'm like, fuck, ¿cómo lo voy a hacer when my mom makes them? Mm. You know, ya viene Thanksgiving, ya viene I thought la... you told her, no, you haven't told her, or you oh, haven't no. told her. Yeah, I told them, oh. I told them I'm doing this, but you know, she's still going to make they them. They take it personal, man. Yeah, they oh. Sometimes they do take it personal. <laughs> My mom's like, comete una tortilla, o dos, te hago dos, y no, y no es tanto. <laughs> She's that's, like, that's the mentality. Yeah, son gluten free. <laughs> yeah. That's the mentality, es que es poquito arroz, like, no te hace nada. nada. Es poquito una tortilla. Pero, no entiendo, and I kept telling her, les, no es eso más, que no entiendes, que quiero hasta diciembre tratar de, de evitar lo que es el arroz, lo que es la tortilla, lo que es el pan, lo que es el azúcar, que todo eso. El otro día hicieron camote. Mm. Uh, es más, ayer, ayer I went over to see them, hicieron camote, güey. Mm. You know, and I, un vasito de leche con camote. I'm like, no, man, no puedo. Mm. Pero es camote, man. Like, sí, pero tiene un chino de piloncillo. Mm. Which is that, 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 the, the, yeah, en mi helado. It's mm. got that, 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 that brown sugar, that, mm. that little brown cone. Mm. That, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that every kid or every, every, <laughs> every, every paisa or raza has been to one of those Latino supermarkets and they've seen that little gray, I mean, that little brown, uh, yeah, it's a cone. Yeah. And that's what it is. It's piloncillo. It's the raw sugar. You melt that fucker and, oh, man, it's delicious. Mm. You know, so I'm like, I, I can't, you know. So she's like, oh. And she gives me that look like, oh, 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 oh está bien. Yeah. But, you know, but she's cool. My dad and my mom kind of understand. But, yeah, you're right. They, it does make you into social. It does make you seem like you're a picky fuck or like, oh, you're que delicado. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's, we still, I don't know. It's, it's hard with the, I guess with the raza because, dude, 80% of our meals are fucking with, Some sort of uh, carb. Well, I mean, we, we associate it with, like, hanging out, celebrating. Let's yeah. go get something to eat. I yeah. mean, it's part of, like, it's part of, like, hanging out and socializing with people yeah. that you, you enjoy being with. But I do I do feel like sometimes it just makes you a little antisocial where you're like, fuck, I don't want to put myself through it. Because he, I mean, I, I, I could see how you would look at those tamales and be like, fuck. He, plus, who wants to be around that all the time, man? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, and it's not like um, como te digo, it, it's it's um, como te digo, it, like I, I know and I recognize that I have an eating disorder, you know. Yo 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 tra yo comí yo no comía tragaba, güey. Mm -hmm. You know, tragaba lo que sea. Do, do you see it as an addiction? It, it definitely is. Well, it definitely is an addiction. That's a huge step to to acknowledge that it's yeah. it's a, it's an addiction, it's an addiction and, I, and i and i know that i fucking i love i love eating i i love fucking atascando me getting to that point where like you just gotta you know like you're like oh you, you get that food coma mm -hmm. you know like oh yeah and you just want to pass out mm -hmm. because that's how much you ate you know yeah that's how i would get and um but it, this uh, when you have an eating disorder dude it's a little bit more complicated than having like a drug uh addiction or or alcohol addiction because alcohol you don't need it to live drugs mm -hmm. you don't need it to live food you do need it to live well i mean that's debatable yeah, that's pretty debatable cuz uh cuz uh, you, you alcohol survive. yeah but alcohol if you don't drink after a while you're not drinking to get fucked up you're drinking to mm -hmm. not have pains with yeah it's, equi it's i think it's the equivalent of eating to survive yeah but the, the alcohol is not that's nourishing you it's not what's keeping you alive right it is it's to subdue a pain or subdue a, a, a maybe you know uh mm, Something that's not comfortable with you. But food, you need it to nourish yourself. Your body needs food. Your body does not need alcohol unless if you made that the, the irreparable damage already where you're like, you know, you're, you're, you know, sometimes I guess if you cut it out right away, your body goes into shock, right? So sometimes gradually they have to. Well, if you're an alcoholic, wave, you're, it's, it's not suggested to just stop. Yeah, you have to cut, you cut you, it. You can't. I mean, it's, you could die away. Mm -hmm. If you no, stop yeah. eating. If you stop eating, like, uh, you're not going to die away. No, but like... If like, you stop drinking, like, you could fucking die away. It's yeah. a, I think it's more dangerous than actually the yeah, food. Yeah, but the thing is, in the sense of, like, food, you need to eat it. I get what you're saying. Right? Yeah, and, and it's easy to fall into that slippery slope to continue eating. You know what I'm saying? Because you need, you need to eat. With alcohol, yeah, you could put yourself, you, you know, you don't have to have it to, to survive. But so if you start drinking, it's easy to go back into that slippery slope because it's not recommended for an alcoholic to drink anymore. 
That's why when they like they get their coins or whatever, because you've been two years sober or whatever, because the minute you eat and you drink it, you fall into that slippery slope with food. How are you going to do that? It's the same thing. If you have an eating thing. disorder, it's the same thing. Because if you think about it, where if you get to the point where you want to get all it takes is a fucking nice piece of bread. All it takes is a drink. And from there. That nice piece of bread that tastes delicious, mm-hmm. you you can easily go back to I, it. I understand, but what I'm trying to say is you need food. But once when, you get into, even if, if you leave alcohol away, once you get to the bigger fucking cabron drugs or only like fucking heroin. Heroin, mm-hmm. yeah. That, that, that's, like a, that's why they say that's like a lifelong addiction where you're going to fight that the rest of your life because your body now needs it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Just like you're saying you would need but, food. But no, but see, does the heroin... Does it keep you alive? No, it kills. But it's a need. It's it's a need, but not not, not like the food is. The the heroin doesn't give you the nutrients. It doesn't give. It doesn't let. Doesn't. But it gives you your, something. It gives it. you something. It gives you that 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 fix. But food, you need food for your body to survive. But I'm saying, and it's easy to become. But to go back into overeating to the point where you eat yourself to death and you gain the di- weight and you're, you're, you're diabetic true, true. and you're fucking the 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 infla la panza and your pancreas goes out and all this shit. Yeah, but think think about it, way. Pon like like the people that are like like pinchy pon crackhead way. Que se ve pinchy bien flaco porque no come way. Their brain is telling them you need the crack before you need the food. So, but what happens if I'm he doesn't that, eat? Look, let's stop pasando. He's, 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 his body's fucking eating itself apart. Yeah, but, but it it's the food. But the, the addiction is so strong that it's telling you the food is second to the crack. And plus, what, what, you're, what you're saying, I get what you're saying, right? but what you're saying is you need food. Yeah, you do need food. But as somebody that's, uh, let's say somebody's addicted to food, there's options to feed that hunger. If you're a heroin addict... You don't have a healthy heroin that you can eat. Oh, no, 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 no. So, so it's not. But yeah, you. you so, cut, so with food. But the thing is, if there was a healthy, let's just say if there was a healthy heroin, mm. it's easier to go back into the harder heroin, you know, because you need this. Well, met- methadone is, is supposedly considered by fucking doctors and shit as a healthy heroin, but it's not. It's just uh, no, replacing but, one habit with another. And what it happens is that they go back into that, into that, you know. Uh, the it's, addiction again It's the same with food All it takes is One piece of bread Exactly That's takes- what I'm saying It's harder to deal with It's way harder To deal with Over or Like eating disorder With an eating disorder Than it is to deal with I'm not saying that Drugs Or alcohol Is It's a cake It's a walk in the park No it's hard But Ahora imagínate You could actually Avoid your places Where that doesn't have alcohol And you could avoid places Or avoid yourself From getting into drugs Or whatever Or going into this as food, you can't avoid it. You can't avoid food because you need to eat. Mm-hmm. You do. You do need to eat. But if if you don't get your fix of heroin, if you don't eat a fucking burger in in in, in five no. hours, you're, you're not, no. you're, you don't you no. don't feel like you're okay. dying. Wait. Let's just say if you they, don't they do fought, heroin. Okay, they fought the heroin. They they already did the steps and everything, and they they stopped right. Mm. But they're they're addicts. Mm. They're already considered addicts, right? If they find themselves around, if they avoid places or they avoid. You know Contacts or whatever With people that party In that scene or whatever They have a better chance Of surviving And staying away from it Mm -hmm. They have a better chance Of it Someone that has An eating disorder All it takes is A una Que te vaya mal A stressing All it takes is like Fuck because you still Need to eat But those are all triggers For for any addiction Even Como dices tú If you're avoiding If you're avoiding The drugs and those people Mm -hmm. It's the same thing With food way Yeah but you don't Have it around you It's not like you're Taking little doses Of here and there But but see you gotta Be specific Because if eating disorder Can also be anorexic And bulimic But I'm talking about In my sense I'm I'm talking about Overeating And I've mentioned Overeating I haven't said You know Restricting eating Or or, or bulimia Yeah Because that's also A disorder Yeah I'm talking about Overeating Yeah You know I think what me And the are saying Is an addiction Is an addiction Addiction is an addiction It is It's an addiction There's no There's no no saying Fucking mine is Yeah But what I'm saying Is that you could live Without alcohol You could live Without drugs You can't No once a recovering alcoholic, what do they do? They, they, they avoid drinking. And there's people that have gone years without drinking. The minute they drink or something is when they have that, that, relapse. that, cha- that relapse, it, right? With food, you cannot avoid it. You're going to, you know, you still have to eat it. And it's higher possibility of relapsing into food than it is to alcohol. But it, it goes to like what you're saying, where you go with food, like when you're like you're exactly how you're saying 
you kind of start feeling kind of antisocial that you don't want to go out because then you don't know what to say. But in tu casa, si tienes todo, everything you need, there's no gancitos in your house anymore. I cleared it so all saying, out. So you can do the same thing as, yes. as someone that's, that's a heroin addict and not go where the heroin is. Exactly. You could avoid Jack in a Box. I, I, I could avoid that, but it's easier for me. Like even the, the food that I have at home, I could still... Start eating all of that, you know, like un día que, okay, let's so, just say what I'm doing right now, I'm doing the keto. So I have plenty of eggs, I have plenty of bacon, I have ham, I have all this, all this meat or whatever. See, si me ching un pinche paquete de, de bacon a day, you think that that's not doing me good. Either. Pero, oh, pero okay, maybe, maybe let's put it, let's put it in the, in the, I guess in the, the cons of risk was. Okay, say you, you relapse and you pass, pass, you, you can't avoid the jack and box. Fuck, I'm going to go get a fucking cheeseburger or whatever. Mm-hmm. Pinch una doble, that big fucking the cuatro monster, fucking yeah. four by four one they have now. <laughs> you go, fuck it, wait, fucking pinch toch, I'm going to give in. Curly fries. When you have it, like you're saying, so you start that slippery soap, mm-hmm. right? Pinch and heroin and addict, like you said, they start that slope. That slope fucking just crashes away. There's no slow fucking, yeah, I'm yeah. gaining no, two pounds point. this week, five pounds this week, ten pounds this week. Oh, now the doctor's telling me I'm, I'm morbidly obese. Yeah. No, no, it's fucking heroin from fucking little taste to I'm fucking living on the streets yeah, again. That's a good point. Right you're now. not eating that cheeseburger. It's not putting you on the street. It's not losing your, you're not losing your job. It, it's not the same way. You're not going to gain 50 pounds from one burger and no. you, from one you hit of better, heroin. You, you have a better chance to get back on track than that heroin Yes, person. but the, the, a disorder is a disorder that, regardless whether yes, yes. it's... But what I'm trying to say is that you can't avoid eating. You need to eat. You can't avoid... You could avoid... You could avoid heroin. You could avoid alcohol. You could avoid it, and you know, no te pones en situaciones or lo que sea. Eating, you must eat because your body needs to eat. But what what is it that addicts do? Where you're, you're covering a lot of addicts. Where I'm not saying every addict, but if you're addicted to something, you're you're using that addiction to cover wounds, to cover scars that. That 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 mm. that 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 you're, you you don't you, you know what it is, dude. You an know what addiction it is? is an addiction. If, okay. if you're addicted to something, mm-hmm. whether it be a good addiction or a bad addiction, you don't just get addicted to things. Way, I mean, let's be honest. Way, if you're addicted to food, if you're addicted to heroin, you there's a high possibility. Way, I'm not gonna say 100, percent but you you're there, addicted to it because you're 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 covering something for, for that's, a trauma. It could be, yeah, so, it could be. But it, I mean, it could be it could be bad habits. Yeah, but be, there, there's, 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 there's a reason that you don't just, you, I don't think you just, I don't think the majority of people just okay. get a bad habit. So let, let's think about this in our culture. Mm. All right. In our culture growing up, when your parents or your mom cooked, when, when, did, when did they throw away the food that you didn't eat? Well, they kept it. No, no. But te decían, te comes todo que está en el plato. Not everybody. Aquí no, right? tenemos, no, no. But the majority. Mm. The majority. Mm. I know I went through it. And I know there's a bunch of listeners that went through it. Aquí, yeah. no, hay, aquí no hay perros, no hay gatos. Mm. You know, you eat your food. Yeah. Lo que se te da, te comes. And mm. sometimes the portions were pretty big. Mm. Right? And you kind of force yourself to eat it. And the next thing you know, what are you doing? Hay todavía hay frijoles, o hay carnita, and you grace. Mm. Un taquito que para las animas, que un taquito para acá, o un taquito before you eat dinner or whatever. You start building these bad habits. Mm. Uh, at least I'm talking in my personal experience. My dad, I'm hooked. I didn't know I was fucking hooked on cereal until I cut cereal out. Mm-hmm. But my dad, and talking to my sister, is that every my dad loved his frosted flakes with platanos, with bananas. I love mm-hmm. the best. Way. You know, y and guess what? Fucking, I started doing that. I started having cereal with him at nights. También. You know, and, and it's something that it's just habits to start building. I'm not saying that there's hidden trauma or anything. It's just these bad habits that start happening. And all of a sudden, when you're younger, yeah, you know what? They don't have that effect because you're, you're moving, you're faster, you're more active. And like I said, as you start getting older, your body starts is not the same anymore. Yeah. You know, so I'm older now and I still kept these bad habits. I didn't do anything to change it. You know, I, I stopped being active. I stopped being all these other things. Why? Because sales del trabajo, estás cansado, vienes del pinche tráfico, you have these headaches. All these excuses that you put yourself, and guess what? You're not being active. You're not burning all the things that you're eating, but you're still eating like you were 20, or even you're eating excessively even more now. Because within the years, guess what? Your stomach expands. You know what, though, dude? You, you mentioned... 
that when your brother was born, it was pretty hard to the family. Oh yeah, yeah. So it, there, it there, there's something there, dude. It could there, be there, that you, you can't you can't just say like no no it's just bad habits. Mm-hmm. Like if you understand the 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 I mean what, if you want me, if you want if me you to, understand what it is to be addicted to okay. something, you you'll you'll see more that sense of like this is why, and mm-hmm. you you'll be able to kind of put things together because there's always a why. It's not it's not just dude. I mean, I had bad habits as a kid where. I can't say it's because of the way my dad ate it. I can't, I can honestly, me personally pinpoint exactly what it was. And that's the only way that I was able to conquer what it is that I was addicted to is to be able to properly label it to Mm -hmm. where that trauma happened and why I do the things that I do. That's a really important step to, to, Mm -hmm. for people that, that are, that are, um, considered addicts or whatever it is. And the, the reason that I don't buy that whole, that it's the same thing way is because you, as, as somebody as addicted to food, there's options to the kind of food that that you can eat. I mean, no, most you, 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 you could have a burger, but you could also have something that's healthy. If I'm addicted to, to booze, the only options I have is either vodka or beer or whatever it is that my body needs is not good for me. There's no vegan heroin. There's no fucking gluten-free fucking... <laughs> I understand, so, but you don't need the heroin. It's not like you could go to the store. Hold on. You do need the heroin. Hold on. You do need the heroin. The addiction needs a heroin. Your body. The addiction needs a heroin. But your body... Your body needs, your body needs, needs so, heroin. Okay, so how does the, the heroin distribute to the body and helps your other organs or helps it, you... It, 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 it's, it's an addiction in the mind. and Or it's whatever. It's it, the same with food. Okay, but with the food, not only that, you're eating because you're trying to satisfy whatever it is, but at the same time... Yeah, but you're putting it, in more it, because of your mind. It's still, mm, yeah. if you eat, yeah, you're going to eat yourself to death. And it might be, what, 20 years, 15 years or whatever. If you do it with heroin, you're going to die quicker. This is a slower death. It's harder to deal with because it's, no, this is, it's like you can still keep eating and eating and eating. And fucking you eat yourself to death. I mean, you, you're, str- you're struggling with it. Wait. I don't think you could... Say that it's harder because you've never been on heroin and you've never no. been an alcoholic, so you can't really say that your struggle is worse than somebody that's on heroin. And, and I'm, I'm not saying that's that, what though. you're saying. No, what you're I'm saying, saying that is, mine's is worse. No. What, I'm saying, you're you're saying, what I'm saying, eating disorder of what I've where what I've read and what I've understand and I looked into because I already went to an eating disorder place mm-hmm. and I already talked to a, a psychiatrist and then we already broke it down and we already went through all of this you know mm-hmm. and the thing is it's yeah it's one of those things that there is trauma or there is you know there but there also is habits and there is also you know the the way our culture was or is because I don't know how I don't know if any of our younger listeners go through that now because I, I, believe it or not our culture is kind of changing because our families are being a little bit more health conscious in, in some way because, and I'll tell you in my, in my personal experience, and that's just mine. I don't know how it is, but even with my parents, yeah, my mom kind of, you know, she's kind of adding more vegetables and they're adding more healthy stuff to their, to their um, daily, um, I guess meals mm-hmm. as in before, mm-hmm. you know, ahora si se fijan de lo que compran, now, you know, even though they still have their garden, everything that they have is organic. Yet my dad doesn't use pesticides anymore. Antes my dad sometimes would use pesticides because of the, the Sabianas, you know, whatever it was, whatever, whatever pest, yeah. pest, whatever it was. But now he does it. Now he, he's, he's also found out how to grow his vegetables without putting all these ve- pesticides. Yeah. So they're making changes along the way. And some of the families are like yourself. I'm sure you, you still eat, you have your cheat days or whatever, but you're still more health conscious that your parents were at your age. I don't know. I can't say that. But, so what's that have to do with the? Well, what I'm saying is that. I can't, so when I, can't I came down it. to it, when I was when I when I went through this eating disorder and everything, what and what I read in the books and everything, yes, addictions are tough, whether it's heroin, alcoholism, or anything. But those could be avoided because they're not part of your daily um, meals or they're not part of your daily uh, supplements that you need for your body to continue. But you, but to, you know, to vitally continue. But you know why people get into heroin? Way? It, the 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 fucking the gateway thing to heroin is car accidents way. You start by getting addicted to pills, by getting into a, a getting surgery, getting into a car accident, getting hurt at work. 
These people, they're, they're not destined to be fucking heroin addicts. They start popping pills because of an injury. From there, okay, it gets so, too expensive. From there, they go into heroin. From there, more they're than, fucked. Okay, right? but then there is no childhood trauma. Or there's nothing that they're... they're, they're that, that if you have an adult, addictive personality, mm-hmm. if you had, and, and usually the high percentage of people that have an addictive personality is because they have shit that they're fucking dealing with. That's that's subconsciously. That's 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 why you get fucking addicted to shit, way. But although, yeah, but what I was saying earlier, way is I, I understand you're saying you need food, just like you need shelter, you us, all right? Mm-hmm. But once you get on one of those hard drugs, those that are pretty much for life, mm-hmm. that supersedes that. Whether it's in your mind or it's your body, that supersedes food. That supersedes having a home, having a job, your fucking kids, your fucking family. So. No matter that you need to eat, your body says, I need this first. You get okay. this first, then we'll talk about that cheeseburger. Okay. The, so f- it, it, the, the, the argument that you need it for substance to survive goes out the window. All right. You're, you're not going to leave your job and your family because you want to no, burger. No, but right? here's the thing, though. You're going to leave you your, could. your, your you, family? You definitely will because uh, uh, if... if if I ever really was that type of person, I could actually file for disability because I like I was diagnosed morbidly obese. People do that. No, I know. People do but that. But I now I have money coming in without working, so I don't have to worry about work. Now I'm getting money from the state or whatever, whatever I earned. A drug addict, no. But you're gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have an addiction. I'm gonna slowly kill myself. It, my my death is gonna be more slowly, but it's a guaranteed one. The drug addict or the alcoholic alcoholic se va a morir más pronto. But stuck out on that road though, or you're not gonna steal your mom's TV to buy a burger with. <laughs> no, because the, the state's giving me money. And it doesn't matter. These guys can get money from the state. They blow it in one fucking load in their vein, and then they're stealing their mom's TV to get another one. You're not gonna do that. Okay. You're not gonna steal a car or, or belongings from your family to buy a fucking pizza way. <laughs> you don't know. Uh, you don't know. I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All, all I'm saying is that that argument, because it's one of one of the things you need for life, just doesn't stand up. Because once you're on one of these other things, all that shit goes out the window. Way, like when you're on it, it it that's all your body craves. It doesn't care that you need food. Doesn't care that you need fucking shelter. Yeah, that's that's why they're on the fucking set on the streets. They fucking pass out high on the street. They vale verga because their mind already it supersedes everything. So. That argument saying, oh, it's because it's something we physically need. It just fucking flies out the window way. Because now what they physically need is has been replaced. I mean, you're seen as an addiction way. And that's I think that that's, that's huge. Yeah. Like a lot of people don't see food as like something that's oh. addicting. Man. I, I, I mean, and, I, and with I've the climate that. of of everything now, is love yourself, be beautiful. I mm-hmm. mean, people don't consider food an addiction. Mm-hmm. Way people don't consider that the same as somebody that's fucking doing heroin. Way mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, they don't see it as you know. They, yeah, they they don't. They just see it as they call it. What is it? They like they call body it body positive. Eating, yeah, or, or they call it eating disorder. You know, even even if they're bulimic, mm-hmm. they don't call bulimia bulimia. They try to change it up. You know, they don't say bulimia. They say, oh, they got an eating disorder. Mm-hmm. You know, they kind of like change the name, you know, or not only change the title of it. So it doesn't sound, it's like when you, cuando tienes chorro, you don't say, I got diarrhea, you know, I just got the stomach flu. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's marketing. Wing. You know, that's the thing. So that's the only thing going here. Yeah, like I, I'm aware I have an eating disorder. I've been aware. Well, it's a good part, wing. You know, and the thing is that now it's just like, fuck, okay, now I got to do it because ya estoy en el punto de, I'm getting older and it's getting harder mm-hmm. to to burn this off or it's getting harder to change, you know, the habits that I have or getting, it's getting harder to change a pattern because you know it's just i have to change these patterns i have to have change the way i eat and change the way i see food mm. you know yeah that's huge right? you know and that's the thing you know i'm changing the way i see food i'm not saying that i'm never gonna enjoy a tamal again you know i could enjoy a tamal too but i'm not gonna enjoy i'm not gonna go for 12 or eight of them and then deep fry them and ponerle huevos encima and have like oh, six of them, way, no you know, en una sentada. It sounds like a, <laughs> like a menu that was... I know. Mm. I mean, there's, there was times that like, you know, fucking um, my mama sent tamales or whatever, and I'll tell her, hey, give me two dozens. Mm. Those two dozens were gone within the week. Mm. Uh, over a week, yeah. You it's know, but right. myself? Mm. 
You know, fucking within the week they were gone. Mm. And it's just is because it's a fancy calienta dos or calienta uno, luego son dos. Oh, you know what? Let me do three. Mm. Fuck it. I could do three or whatever it is. But yeah, it's, it's, I'm, I'm aware of it. And it's just like, this is that you get too confident and you're like, Oh shit, my pants still fit. Oh, my shirt still feels good. Eh, fuck it. Sorry. You know, fuck it. I, I'm okay. But mm. then a rato, like next thing you know, like, fuck, dude, you start blaming the dryer. You know, you start blaming the, oh, fuck, did I wash this in hot water or what, you know? You start blaming all these little things, and then you're like, ah, fuck, all right, game way. But, you know, it's just that, like, you, 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 I, for me, one, one of my things, I'm like, I'll let future Ramon worry about it. Yeah, I've heard you say that before. You know? <laughs> but, and, and, but the thing is that that future Ramon is now, eh? Yeah, and now Ramon is dealing with the past Ramon's uh, fucking bullshit. That future said Ramon that is this yeah. one will take care yeah. of it. So now, so now it's like, fuck, okay. So in reality, I'm just fucking myself over. But now it's a little bit more because, yeah, okay, ya estoy grande. Estoy viendo que mis, you know, my parents are getting older. I'm seeing that, you know, uh, my friends and everybody, we're all getting up there. I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want to be a burden on anybody, and it's something that could be avoidable. This is definitely avoidable. I could definitely just change my habits and just change the way I eat and the way I see food. That's it. Yeah. You know? Just change all of that. It's not easy, but it's I'm working at that thing, and it's just, I think that's where the the whole aggro thing you said comes oh. up about, you know? Mm-hmm. At least for me. Yeah. You know? For me, that's what it is, and so I'm just working on that. I'm trying to be, you know, I still trying to keep the the personality. I don't want to fall into that. How they say when you know fat people lose weight, they're no longer funny. Mm. <laughs> I don't think it's that. It's just that when they lose weight, they're just not miserable, but they're like, you know, trying to fucking keep the food thoughts away. But one of the things that from this conversation is you're starting to be like, what I'm going through is worse than that. Like, no, well, it sounds like you're already okay. getting into that. So, uh, no, well, I'm not. I'm not comparing myself see, to drug on, addicts. Like, but I mean, that's a little. No, thin no, no. Line. We're not. We're not saying get, get your 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 struggle or addiction. We're just saying, if anything, está parejo, way. You can't think of oh, my struggle is worse than that struggle. Just it's your struggle, way. Yes, todo. Uh, and, okay. And I'm saying it, your, your struggle is real, way. Is he stuck out on way? That's a tough one. Yeah, what you're going I'm not, through. I'm not, I'm not taking away from what yeah, you're, where you're going through. I'm, I'm just, we're just saying what I'm saying, and I'm, I think maybe this guy's saying the same thing. Is you can't say that. Yo está más cabrón que what those guys go through. Way. All right. And okay, you start so, getting into that so, mindset. Way. No, but see, the thing is, I'm not even thinking about that. This just came out in conversation. This is not something that I point out. Like, oh yeah, no, overeating is like way worse. Than, no, what I brought out, it's one of those. It's more difficult because you need to eat. But if it was the words, the words that I said and how I expressed it, then you know what? Addiction is addiction. And no matter what you do, it's fucking terrible it's to deal with. It's tough. Man. You know, that's all it was. Mm-hmm. And my whole thing was, it's just like, tienes que comer para sobrevivir. That's the thing. You cannot, you know, you need the food. You need the food, not, not because of the addiction, but your body just needs the food to survive. Mm-hmm. You know, physically, your organs, your, you know, your, your, your mind, all of this, it needs to stay, have some sort of nourishments. And that's what it is. And a lot of the, some, whatever you eat might have some of the nourishments you need. The majority it doesn't. And that's what gets you, you know, overweight. And that's what gives you like, you know, your, your sugar levels high. And that's what fucking starts messing up with your pancreas. And then, you know, you're, you're fucking, you're going blind or lo que sea mm-hmm. with that shit. And it's a slow killer. It's definitely a slow killer. You know, it's like, well, the other one, they say that diabetic is a silent killer. Mm. Diabetes mm. is a silent killer because you feel fine and everything. And then when it hits you, ya valió madre. But a lot of, like, when my dad was diagnosed with diabetes, they're like, dude, most people, they've been diabetic for 10, 15 years, and you just don't know it. Mm-hmm. Like, until you get, like, little signs, you go to the doctor and like, dude, you've been diabetic since fucking, fucking forever. Since 06. But, <laughs> I mean, what kind of damage does internal, internal, internal organs have already? Mm. You know? Like, what is it, like, you know, his pancreas, or is it the, what's the other one that creates the insulin? Um, How many years have you taken off your life? Yeah, you? in that sense, you know, but so I can't think it maybe it might be, you know, you, you, 50 something and they look 70. Have you guys ever heard of fecal transfusions? The know. shit? Yeah, basically. I mean, they're, what they're saying way is, is they're, they're extracting, like, you take somebody that's considered healthy, uh-huh. mentally, physically. 
you you take the uh, the bacteria from their fecal matter, not literally the shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, but yeah, but okay. With the lab, like there's there's I want to, for lack of a better word, there's shit banks mm-hmm. where people don't donate their their yeah. healthy shit because uh, a lot of it right now is probiotics. Right, everybody's into gut health right now. This is like the biggest thing. All of a sudden, everybody wants to talk oh, about shit. gut yeah, health. Like before, it was trans fat, and then before that, it was something else. Yeah, but there's a fad. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, well, uh, well, good bacteria or good health is like, you know, it's a big thing right now that people are talking about. And apparently fecal transfusion where apparently they can take the bacteria from a healthy person mentally or physically or whatever you want to call it. Somebody that you want to strive to be and they put the bacteria into your intestines and supposedly that your body, you start creating habits and, and characteristics of the donor way if this person likes to work out if this person's always fucking positive and shit according to these people with with the fecal transplant or, or the fecal transfusion it, it gives your your gut healthy bacteria and it just starts to fucking rearrange all your shit where apparently you're supposed to like start thinking differently and your body starts reacting differently and, and the same thing is is uh putting the fecal of somebody that's unhealthy into somebody that's healthy apparently they did this with rats or whatever or mice and apparently the 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 mice that got the the bacteria from the per, the the rat that was or the mice that was unhealthy mm-hmm. they they gather those traits as well so this is something that I've been reading lately the way that I've been seeing a lot of people talk about it where and, and, I, fucking crazy and, right and I believe you because I don't know if you know this but every time the the president of the United States travels either president Travels to another country, they don't take a shit in regular restrooms. Really? They take a shit in a an assigned port, not a porta potty, but an assigned, an assigned restroom where there's a secret service agent that collects that and makes sure that it's sealed and everything so it doesn't stay behind. <laughs> oh, shit. Because the you know whatever government they're visiting or whatever country they're visiting, their government could get all the information from their fecal. Wow. From the fecal matter, they I could find know. out if he's sick. They could find out if he's healthy. They could find out uh, you know his uh, you know practically their their genealogy of like i don't know i don't know how detailed but i don't know if they could tell like if there's a uh, schizophrenia or anything like that they could break it down to what you know because your everything comes out of there yeah. so i totally believe you because that is a thing that you know i'm still skeptical but it sounds interesting that that is definitely a thing where like they don't Make sure that the president does not leave their shit behind. Wow, that's literally, crazy. that's crazy, dude. I never heard of that. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those little fucking uh, useless facts. Well, we'll have to look into this way. Look into it. Wayne. Well, apparently, like cancer loves sugar. Way cancer loves fuck. I mean, carbs turn into sugar. Mm-hmm. Apparently, can uh, if, if you keep feeding your yourself sugar and all that shit and you have cancer mm-hmm. apparently that, you're that's, feeding it that's it what they up? love fucking that's oh, what sure. they thrive with fucking sugar way that's why the keto diet a lot of people that that have cancer use it because you're supposed to all of a sudden now f- cancer doesn't like fat according to these fucking mm-hmm. people that research it and i'm just somebody talking in the fucking yeah. chicano podcast but people that actually study these say that cancer doesn't like fat that's why the keto diet is perfect for somebody that's going through cancer. They're going through chemotherapy. They're saying that if if you only fast way before you fast for like a day or two before you take chemotherapy, that that has bigger impact on the cancer than having a normal diet and going to chemotherapy. And I don't know how true it is, but if you already have cancer, you have a difficult time eating as it is, though, right? Yeah, your appetite is... Yeah. Uh, I don't know if all cancers No, are no, but it's a thing, but, depending yeah. on what it is or what oh. you're going through, that, yeah, it is... So it, you you already experienced fat gets you fucking full quick, dude. Yeah. You well, eat a fucking little bit of macadamia nuts or whatever, you're fucking stuffed with I'm, I'm good. Yeah. I'm actually, I got I got almond nuts with me. Uh, yeah. You know, and I'm and, and, you know, fucking it's a pinche frasquito, and it's measured... And I, I carry two just in case. Yeah. And shit. So hold on. No, no, está sacando Uno de estos, you know. <laughs> Eso ya me... <laughs> I have two. <laughs> so smoke nuts. You're reaching pretty deep for those nuts, <laughs> way. Yeah, yeah, so, portion and everything. You know, I got my my almonds right here. No, it's the way. And and the thing is, you know, and I and I get two. Just because in case if it's uh if I get stuck in a place or I didn't get to have my lunch or whatever, or say lo que sea, I just have a backup. Yeah. You know, just so that I can have something. And you know what? You're right. It it fills me up. I notice that I'm eating without the absence, with the absence of bread or carbs or whatever it is, all the sugar. I eat and I'm full, but I'm not stuffed. Yeah. 
I'm full and I'm comfortable. I can still function. I can still go fucking dar una caminada or fucking ir a pasear or lo que sea. But normally before, before this whole new journey that I'm going through, mm. before that, fucking comía and dude, I don't, I don't like, I'm stuffed. I don't want to go walk. I don't want to go do this. I just want to sit down and just, uh, you know, yeah. relax. And with this whole change, it's like, yeah, I'm, I was miserable for like fucking a month, let's just say. Mm. I was miserable for a month. Now I'm just trying to cope with, you know, it's easy to fucking, ahorita que llegué, llegué al, porque no, no, no fucking no comí en la casa, llegué al Jack in the Box. Mm. But I got the, the, the fucking, the, the protein burger. It's just lettuce, right? It's just lettuce. It's la carne, el queso wrapped in lettuce mm. with the tomatoes and everything else. No bread, you know, but it was easy. It could be easy for me to just say like, oh, you know, just fuck it, I'm in mm. But no, it's just I'm sticking to it because I, I noticed a change. I don't feel, I don't feel as stuffed or tired or like sluggish. That's what it is. I don't feel as sluggish now when I eat, mm. after eating. I don't feel sluggish. I feel good. And that, that right there is a good sign. I'm telling you, these pants that I have on, fucking me quedan. You know, I, I got them, I guess work gives us uh, clothes or whatever. And I got the, the, you know, the size that I thought I was going to fit into. Yeah. You know, me quedaron, way. Shit. And I'm like, fuck my life. And then, you know, just the other day, I'm like, oh, you know what? Let me see. Holy shit. Me cierre. Y no están apretados, pero tampoco están sueltos. They're just, just the right. They're just right. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, that's a good sign. So then, you know, it's just those little things that you start seeing. I'm like, okay, this is working. And it's just, let's just keep this going. Yeah. And, and, and once I have not control of it, because you really can't control anything, but once I have a handle on this, once I handle, I have a handle, then I'll be able to, like you say, spoil yourself, you know, like don't tampoco, don't restrict yourself because then it's easier to fucking fall into it. Mm -hmm. I think you told me that. I can't you know, remember. Yeah, you know, just you know, you don't forget to just spoil yourself once a week or something. You know, like a little cheat meal. Yeah, like yeah. a cheat meal. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. You know, but let me. My whole goal is from here to December. I mm -hmm. que tanto aguanto. You know, I know the the holidays are coming, but I mean, it's not an excuse for me to fucking, you know, like with the whole marathon. You know, okay, ah, it's the holidays. I'm just gonna take a month and a half off. You know, no, because I saw the effects of fucking... You know, the other thing I read up the other day way is uh, when Obama was president, he made it so, like, like sometimes when I go to Walmart, I buy grass-fed fucking ground beef. It's like six, seven bucks, way, And I'm like, fuck yeah, grass-fed? Fuck yeah, I'm down. So then I was reading this thing way, where in 2015, what Obama did is he made it so, like, the majority of meat that we get from the stores that's grass-fed is not from the States way. All, all, all it is is w they don't even have to check the the farms that these that these cows are are fucking raised in. All it is if, if as soon as the meat gets to the, the the plant here, even if they just cut it and package it, they could put product of the U.S. just by doing that way. Just by the meat getting to the facility and them cutting it and packaging it, the package could say product of the U.S. This meat could be from fucking. Asia, mm -hmm. it could be from some fucking place that we don't know about, but we look at, oh shit, grass fed beef, it's fucking healthier. You think in your head, like, oh yeah, this is fucking healthy, but it's not even the product of the US way. They passed this in 2015, so it's fucking up a lot of farmers. Now they're pissed at fucking Trump because he's not doing anything about it. <laughs> and it's the farmers that, that voted for Trump. Yeah. It's like these people from back Midwest and shit like that. Well, way. no, no, let's not even go too far. When I go up uh, Central Valley, mm -hmm. along the 99, I see all these, uh, these banners, these posters, you know, that uh, vote for Trump or like, you know, farmers voted for Trump. And all these things. There's a lot of people in the Central Valley. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Trump, Trump supporters really? in California. And you would think it's not that big. Yeah. But, dude, going down, dude, I, it's like maybe a 200-mile stretch. Yeah. And, yeah, fucking at every 25 miles or something, you see something uh, Trump. Trump. Yeah. yeah. I just thought it was crazy, right? Because you think you're buying fucking meat that's healthy. And now it's like you don't even know where it's coming from. Because right? they can just say product of the U.S. just because they put it in a package for you. They wait it out. So sometimes you think you're eating healthy and we're really not where. But I guess all we can do is try, right? Mm -hmm. But with like the FDA and shit like that, I mean, we're, we're, we're going against a crooked fucking organization where we're going. Uh, there's a lot of interest involved that's not to our best fucking benefit where, you know, there's a lot of things that that fucking that we're going with where. But 
I feel like the important thing is to do something, where If you don't, I mean, we've talked about this before, where If you don't like the way you look, if you don't like the way you feel, I mean, there's, we definitely have to do something, where there's, there's a lot of things out there, where I like this one thing that I keep hearing. Um, um, uh, it, it, in order to, like, you know how the hardest thing to go to the gym is to get up and go to the gym, right? The, 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 yeah. That's the hardest thing. You know what? And, and it's so true. It's the hardest thing. Mm. Putting on the shoes, getting up, getting dressed, and going to the gym. Yeah. That's, I think that's the hardest. Because once you're there, you're doing it or whatever. You do it at your pace, but you're doing it. You know, it's just getting there that's the hardest. Yeah. So, yeah. So, it's like anything. Like you said, you know, yeah, we could do all kinds of things, but we got to be able to change. And the hardest thing is taking that first step. Yeah. I mean, definitely hard way. I haven't gone to the gym in a fucking months, where and I think about it all the time, where but all I do is put excuses in my head, where mm-hmm. why I'm not going, where I fall asleep late or I get home tired or and at the end of the day, where if I really wanted to, I would make time for it, you know. So I, I'm going through that way. I'm struggling with that shit way. I want to go back to the gym because you do feel like I feel like even like like right now, where I'm telling you, I'm, I'm kind of a little aggravated and shit like that. I think that working out. Even helps you with like anxieties and shit like that, where because you're fucking your your body is just you know you you give it you know you fucking you put it through some shit where and then you're too tired to even fucking <laughs> worry about anything where <laughs> oh you're sore as fuck <laughs> <laughs> you're like too tired to even and I know that but I still struggle with like making that part of like my normal fucking routine where. You know? Well, yeah, it's, it's about you put your, your stress into something physical, pues. Yeah. You let it out, way. Yeah, so it works. I want to go back, way, but I mean, even I was reading a book where uh, I forgot what book it was, way. Maybe one of the ones that we sent that dude. But they're talking about like a lot of people when they when they want to do something, they first they first get an idea, right? Like I want to do this, and then they they find the motivation to do it, and then they look to be inspired to finally do it. And this guy was like, dude, just. Do it the other way around. Do it first. Then find, once you're doing it, find the motivation to keep doing it. And once you find the motivation, get inspired to get better. So instead of doing it at the end, after you're motivated and you're inspired, do it first. And through the process, get motivated and inspired. And at that point, you're already doing it, you know. And it's one of those things where it's easier said than done, Wayne. Yeah. Because, I mean, we all struggle with something, Wayne. You know, and having a pinchy frito, way. You know, you get fucking. Yeah, but it's it's, it, it, it's interesting you say this because we started going. You know, um, the the thing is, I was in. Uh, I, I just joined the the CrossFit gym, and um, I was looking for one. I found one close to the house. <laughs> you know, I was looking for one, but something where like, I, 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 and it started like how you were saying, you're trying to get the the motivation, you're trying to get the, the, the inspiration and do all this and all that. And I found it and it's 10 blocks from the house. It's five minutes. I go on the bike. I don't drive there. I, I ride the bike in the morning. The Mija and I, we ride the bikes. We get there, we do our thing and everything. So now... My motivation or, or or my inspiration at this point, I want to be able to walk into a store, any store, and be able to just get clothes. Mm. I don't want to go order it online. I don't want to go to, like, you know, the the, the, the the specialty stores, how they call it. You want to go into H&M? Wing? No, no, not even H&M. I just want to be able to go to Target mm. because sure. Target's got some good stuff there, too. Some fucking nice shirts, and I look at them, and I'm like... Okay, I'm, why even try putting it on? It's not going to fit me. And you know what's crazy, bro? Is like, I, I don't think about that way. I take it for granted. Mm-hmm. And now that I hear you saying it, it's like, sometimes you need to, I feel like we should, as people, appreciate sometimes the, the little things that we don't think about. Mm-hmm. And be like, there's people that, that don't have it like that, you know? Mm-hmm. And, I mean, you don't really think about it, but when you brought it up right now, it's like, fuck, why am I complaining about what? (laughs) (laughs) You're still a medium. I'm a large. I still wear a fucking medium wear. Mm -hmm. Like, in high school, I was wearing a large, and somehow I slimmed down a little bit. So I was talking, I think Daniel was telling me about it because he started doing the meal prep with uh, Conestarma. Mm-hmm. Like Apples and oranges, right? Yeah. Apples and oranges of um, Instagram. También me dice que he's trying to lose weight and shit. Le digo, fuck, wait. It's, it's one of those things that I think we all 
at some point in our lives, everybody struggles with weight, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, some people more than others, but... Hay unos que they can gain, they can't gain weight. Oh. Están flacos, and they eat, and they do this, and somehow their body just won't let them gain weight. Mm. Y los que están, you know, gordos or grandes, they're trying to lose weight, and you're always pissed off at the skinny guy because they're like, dude, this guy eats more than I do. <laughs> I, I, I read something about people like that way, and a lot of it, according to these people, they attribute it to these people having that in their heads. I could eat whatever I want, and I don't gain mm -hmm. weight. <laughs> and the people that gain weight, fuck, I eat this and I get fat. Mm -hmm. And then some people attribute it to that mentality where that the people that are that are slim are always thinking, dude, I could eat whatever the fuck I want, and I don't gain weight. So you're constantly telling yourself that. I could eat whatever I want and I don't gain weight. And for some reason, like their metabolism's always, or they say that I have a high metabolism. Never even got to the fucking doctor. And how do they fast know? Fast metabolism. Yeah. How do they know that they have a fast metabolism? I heard that shit for years. <laughs> oh, I don't gain weight, bro. I have a fast metabolism. <laughs> Dude, you don't even have insurance. How do you go to the doctor? It's the equivalent to like, I'm not fat. I'm just big bone. Yeah. Bitch, when are you seeing a fat skeleton? Medium husky, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> Medium husky. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those things, man. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't even think about it now that you mentioned it. Yeah, that's one of my um, my motivations to be able to just walk into a place and grab something from the rack and just pay for it. You mm. know, not 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 going to Amazon or not going to like you know fucking big and tall. That's the only place where you can find the the, no. the sizes. No, right? no, no. I already I already have my places where I could go. But it, I feel like it's kind of limited in the look. Like there's mm -hmm. like a yeah. The, the, why do you think I wear the, like the the, the black t shirts or the dickies and everything? You know, it's it's part of the style. But I mean, it's like I've <laughs> that's all the options that I have. Mm -hmm. That's all the options I have. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Right? It's not because I'm dark. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I, I I don't get me wrong. Wrong. I like wearing all black. I, I yeah. enjoy it. Yeah. And I've always, as a, as a, as a teenager, mm -hmm. I enjoy wearing the black and everything. But once in a while, I see a shirt that it's got, not, you know, nice colors or whatever, but they don't have it in my size. You know, so I'm like, oh, fuck, well, let me see. Mm -hmm. You know, I love, that's why I, you know, fucking love the Dickies. Um, I still could fit into uh, 501s. Mm -hmm. A little struggle. I don't know now. I got to try them. But I haven't actually put them on. Yeah. So, you know, I can still find some, but son, tienes que agarrar los tres o cuatro tallas más grandes because those run, actually do run smaller than they do. Uh, than the rest of the other pants. The 501s? Mm -hmm. There's still size for the people in the fucking and 1800s. The, the, right? Yeah, the 1849. <laughs> <laughs> the prospectors? Yeah. yeah just the prospector size. Uh, yeah, they still do that, but, you know, it's just it's just one of those, like, I already know the sites. I already know what um, manufacturer has them. I know what stores. I already have, like, you know, the little hood stores around here that they sell the big sizes. Mm, pro the, club shirts? Yeah. The, the discount t-shirt spot? Yeah. <laughs> and not even that, dude. And if, if anything, fucking big people people's clothes or fat people's clothes it's more expensive because it's not material we'll see, we. we'll see we. yeah so fucking you, they, they, they say two for one but you guys are like ah yeah no the, not those <laughs> not those yeah not the not the three x and above buddy or even two x and above as yeah, yeah. gonna start subiendo el precio el two x la subes but say i mean a, a large a large in the 90s is a fucking medium now eh? mm-hmm yeah. Is it? No, hold on. No, al revés, no? Yeah, I think it's... Uh, Wait. Uh, well, the size runs smaller, where? Mm. This is like, 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 Yeah, no, it is, yeah. What? What? Uh, in the 90s, what was a large? Now oh, I fit no. into it as a medium. Mm. So the size is kind of... Trump? We got, we got bigger, where? We got bigger. So whoever was wearing a fucking large in the 90s, now we're wearing mediums. You know what I'm saying? If if a jacket was L in the nineties, now it's a medium oh, size wear. Now it's a medium size. So yeah, we're, uh, we're getting bigger. So the the shirt, yeah, yeah, we're getting bigger, way. And oh, in twenty years, is it going to change the man? I don't know. You know. Who knows? Because if you think about it, I don't know. I think maybe because of social media. Mm -hmm. And it has to do, but I, I, you see more people active, you know, you see more people posting up that they're going to the gym. You see more people posting up that they're running, they're hiking, they're, you know, stair climbing, they're fucking. You know what the way social media is a highlight real way. Yeah, it's not a, that's, that's not a reality way. It's not a standard way. I think, <laughs> I think the, do you see filters? I mean, that's not a paro way. Angles, that's not a paro. <laughs> the lighting, that's not a paro way. I mean, <clears throat> I think it's just a highlight reel for I'm everybody. not going with the, the, the influencers. I'm not going with the, those que tienen like fucking 
10,000 followers or anything. I'm going with the general people, like friends or people yeah, in pero, a circle. Pero que, that a lot of them, I, I noticed that a lot of them are a little bit more health conscious in a sense, in a sense they're being more active. Like there's a couple of people that I follow or they follow me or follow us or lo que sea that, you know, you go through their feeds and you see them that they're hiking. They're hiking and then at night they're drinking beer and <laughs> eating tacos. Right? I mean, <laughs> but, that's, they're, but that's, they're hiking. You're seeing a highlight reel. That, 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 that's, not, not the, that's not really, I don't. It's not a baseline one. I mean, I get, I, I, I get what you're saying. The knowledge of like, we got to be out here is there. Yeah. But, but, but in 20 we, years, but we, we talked in 20 about this years, before. that might change. We've you, talked about this before, how the fucking studies say que yeah. things are getting worse, like mentally, because yeah. of these highlight reels. You go yeah. on Facebook, Instagram, and everybody looks like, oh, look, they're going over here. Yeah, salen cada fin de semana. Yeah. Oh, look, they're hiking. Oh, shit. Why? I'm not hiking. Yeah. It, it fucks with you, way, because you're seeing highlight reels, way. So they might be hiking, como es este, usar la pistear, or llegan al 7-Eleven, echas unos gancitos, and fucking... <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they went to fucking, uh, to the fucking uh, a Royal Sec or some shit. Yeah. They were hiking in Pasadena, and then now I see them fucking getting fucked up at night, way. I mean, I don't know, way. Yeah, you can, you can base it on that. And, I, and I, think, I think what it is, way, is that it, it, it's definitely, I mean, I've, I don't know if you guys know people, but I've known people that would post something on Instagram with like super inspirational quote. And I know them as a person. I'm like, dude, you're a fucking shitty ass fucking person. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is not how you really think. Like, why are you trying to be a fucking Tony Robbins on Instagram? Yeah. Like, be a better fucking person. I know you. I know that this. You're taking this fucking selfie with with the fucking Gary Vee style fucking signature. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, social media is a is is one of those things where that it's it's you can't base anything on shit. Yeah, you can. It's just everybody's highlight reel, way. And it sucks, way, because people actually go through shit, way. And manufactured highlight reel, way. Manufactured. We all go through shit, way. And then I'm sure, I mean, I can say that I've been on Instagram with somebody from high school and he, they're doing fucking something that's really cool. And is he mad? We thought in the past, mm. way. Like, fuck, way. This fucking guy's doing this. Oh, this fucking guy already bought a fucking house. Like, oh, this guy's over here. The fuck? I went to high school. And then we start. Trying to prep ourselves That guy was a fucking idiot Like why Why does he have that I mean I've been there way he was, he was a chicken fucker no, Not too long ago Didn't they catch One of those influencers That man some chick mm -hmm. That she was photoshopping herself In different places right? No way bro <laughs> So I'll check it out I'm in Paris And then someone was like That looks like the same pose From this oh, picture From two uh, years ago And yeah way She was like photoshopping herself And fucking By seat out She was fucking All over the world Or whatever I catch myself where like I don't I don't like to I mean I went to Vegas and I didn't want to put a lot of shit up where I didn't want to feel like I was on my phone the whole time mm -hmm. and I, I I catch myself sometimes like taking a stupid ass fucking picture and I'm like what the fuck am I doing where and I just deleted it <laughs> hanging off a cliff where casi matando de way no way <laughs> some some fucking Instagram type shit way where I gotta tell I want to fucking show off where I'm at yeah. and I catch myself like what the fuck are you doing dude e see where I go through that well, shit and, and and I actually enjoy when you put the stuff because you don't put it all the time yeah so when you put it <laughs> I I enjoy it I enjoy it when you put it because I'm yeah. like, he's having fun. Yeah. He's really enjoying this. Why am I not having fun? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> ¿Por qué estamos aquí sentados viendo la tele? <laughs> why, why is he fucking eating a whole pizza? <laughs> ¿Por qué no me invitó? <laughs> nah, wait, but I catch myself, wait. I just don't, yeah. I don't want to portray, I don't want to portray that I have this life when I'm going through shit as well, wait. One thing I, 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 I really don't do, I do post about my... Lately, I've been putting funny shit on the on the highlights. I rarely yeah. started putting. I I rarely. I kind of held back on, on your putting, story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I kind of held, held back on putting stuff on my um, post, mm -hmm. like that that stay on your page. But this weekend, I did put it up, and I rarely put one. I rarely put of anything with me and the mija. Mm -hmm. I really do because it's one of those like I've always seen it like when like I don't know. I don't know if this is judgmental, Ramon, or this is just. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say yes. Okay. Adelante. <laughs> On this next segment. Judgmental. You, you guys already know where this is going. <laughs> you already know. You already called it. I've always, like, I don't know where I heard it or where I saw it or who told me. I can't remember that. It was just one of those conversations where, like, 
and it, and it had to do with this topic when you're like, you know how you're saying that you see these people and they're like, you know, especially like couples. Oh, we're out here. We're in Disneyland. Oh, we're white river rafting. Oh, we're hiking. Oh, like we're fucking skydiving. Like, oh, look, we're gold. We're, we're digging for gold or we're hiking. Oh, this is to this madre. And you're like, what the fuck, dude? This couple is very active. <laughs> yeah, right? They're you know, making like, me look bad. Fuck, dude. This, like, exactly. Yeah, this fucking guy planned Valentine's all month. This guy's making <laughs> me look bad. <laughs> Reality I don't reality. post it. Yeah. I mean, I told you guys about no, it. I know, I know. But I don't post it for everybody to see or anything. It's just that's between, not that it's between us, but I, I don't want it. I don't want to make it seem like I'm one of those per- people that puts all these things about the couples and maybe they might be the most miserable ones. They're trying to hold on to, well, you know, they're holding on to a relationship with the string. You know, they're like, oh, yeah, I love my baby. Or like, yeah, my baby and I having dinner. Or like, yeah, me and uh, me and my my bae. Or me and uh, what else do they call mm-hmm. them? Pero, pero, por, why, por qué no te comes esas, pero te comes the hiking, way? No, no, no. Because one of the things is like, you see these people walking. You know, you see them walking. Or like, they, they'll put, they put the videos. And you yeah. see them walking. I'm like, holy shit, that's a steep walk. But the, the couples put their videos también. And uh, they put their good times. And están yeah. besando. And yeah, but... It, 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 I guess some of them, I'm not going to say that, you know, personally, but you've been around them. Like how Esteban was talking about how they, they put yeah, this yeah, inspirational yeah. quotes. And you're like, uh, I've been around you and I see how yeah, you fucking Yeah, but I'm saying in, in, in general way, ponle como dijiste with, with the, how people are more active and because you see it on Instagram, there's more hiking. If you just went based on that way, you would think, oh, shit. Fucking relationships are great in the, in the times we live in now. Yeah. Well, look at these people. But, Everybody's fucking happy with their on. pareja. But see, what you're you're using that right now. What I what, when I referenced that was that what's when Esteban said what's going to be in twenty years from now. I'm like, I don't know. It looks like people are being more active. They're a little being more yeah. conscious about it. So maybe in twenty years it'll be better. And the reason why that came up is because. I see some of the people, I'm not talking about influencers, I'm talking about our friends or people that I follow that I know, they're being more active. Yeah, they go climbing, they go walking, they go running, they do all these things, and you see them, I'm like, oh shit, and you see the difference. One of them is our friend Irma, mm-hmm. right? You see her, and she's working out, and the way she was five years ago, or six years ago, to how she is now, like, you see that change. But see, Irma is a little different than what most people that I encounter with. Because Irma at the gatherings, I don't really see her eating fucking mm. bread. She's not drinking. Mm-mm. A lot of these people on Instagram that are hiking, they're getting fucking shit faced later on that same day, and they're eating like shit the whole fucking week. So okay. it's so, not gonna do anything. But again, a hike's not gonna do shit for your health. Again, I'm talking about the people that I know or that mm-hmm. we know. Yeah. I'm not talking about the influencers. I'm not talking about these other ones. The ones that I Me see. Me too. I'm talking about people that we. The know. ones that I see, I'm like, you can see the, you can see the change in them. Yeah. You can see the change in them. So that's yeah. that's where yeah. the difference with the couple is. Well, you know, because in the couple, they're doing all these things, but in reality, you know that you know. The relationship is hanging on the string or they have issues or anything, but they're I trying to push it. it out. I get it. You know, they're, they're portraying a certain image. That's not yeah. really a real. And as far as them hiking or running or doing anything, you can see that on their physical, that it's working out for them. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm, okay. Well, if you're talking, yeah, but, but, but then you're not basing it on Instagram, way. No, I'm just basing it on like, you know, what they put up. Whether it's Facebook, Instagram, or Locus. No, but I'm saying you're not basing it on that because you're actually basing on, okay, I know them and I no, can... That's I've, what I I've said. It's them. it's the circle of friends. I'm not talking about influencers mm-hmm. or strangers or anything. I'm talking about our close friends. But you know something that I, I am guilty of as well is, and it fucking sucks, way because the flip side of that is when somebody puts something fucking depressive and dark, you're like, that's the way, what the fuck, way? Get it together. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they're being real. They're being real. Y uno está, esta picha weeds, way. Let me Better fucking way. follow this person, yeah. and so I think that show that's, me your pictures of hiking. Those yeah, I think that's fucked up though, with I mean, because yeah. that's more real than fucking somebody yeah. posting. Uh, uh, how many times did they? How many pictures did we see with those angel wings in fucking downtown when when they first yeah. popped up? Yeah, everywhere. Everybody wanted a picture of that shit, way you know, and then you, you would go through those feeds and then you look again toda aguitada. You'd be like, what the fuck, way no mames, get the fuck out of my feed, way. <laughs> Está cabrón, güey. Yeah. Está cabrón, because that's that's really that's really yeah. what it is, güey. I, I yeah, and, I, and when I see those or like you know the inspir- inspirational ones or like you know especially the ones that like you know we had uh, we have we've had friends that, that and we've brought them up that they hmm. cut us out because they found religion. 
<laughs> or they found something else, you know? I don't know. Really cut you off. I still talk to them. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Sounds about I'm, right. I'm not that judgmental. Bro. No, but I'm saying Sounds they, they, right. they <laughs> cut us out. Yeah. You know, for whatever reason. And you, it goes, I'm not going to say it's almost the same over here, but when you see someone that's, you know, reaching for help or like yeah. put all these things, they're like, yeah, you can say, ah. but again, it's like you said earlier, like, mm. fuck, it's kind of fucked up, but mm. <laughs> like, I don't need this. <laughs> you're, you're putting me down. Yeah, eh? but see, that's fucked up because that's more of a real fuck. But see, at least you recognize yeah. it or whatever. Yeah. I, I, everybody takes it differently And then I mean you can know This person like Ah pinche melodramatico Yeah But the, like, the thing is The people that react On the moment Where like uh, My 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 girl has a friend From high school That She's She's broken up With this guy Like five times The last fucking six months And she always posts It's over And then A week later They're fucking Calling each other babe again mm-hmm. And then a week, uh, two weeks later, it's like, oh, I chose my son because he's an alcoholic or whatever. And so they put it all out there, and then a couple weeks later, they're already fucking back. Yeah. And you're like, wait, no mama. No, no, yeah, there's, there's some. Yeah. And then that same person that I'm talking about, it's funny because like we, we fucking look through a show. I'm like, she's arguing with herself. Wait, <laughs> she's a whole Saturday night she, right there. She'll, yeah, it's a fucking entertaining. <laughs> way. She'll put on the on the Facebook. She'll be like, to all the people talking shit. Like, just I'll let you know that this is I'm um, starting a new. Or she'll she'll start fabricating shit. Wait, and nobody comments or nobody does anything. And like, she keeps answering to herself. Yeah. She keeps like saying to all the haters out there. You know, like uh, I, I, I don't. I'm gonna do me, and I'm gonna do. And I tell my girl, like, who the fuck's telling her anything? Nobody's telling her anything. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, maybe the I'm on when he enters himself. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how could how could somebody hate somebody so much? And then she started a new Facebook. She's like, screw with all you guys. I'm starting a new Facebook. And so, like, two days into the new Facebook, she's already arguing with herself again. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, I don't care about you haters. I'm gonna do me. And I'm like, dude, nobody's arguing with you. Like, and I mean, you only got. No followers <laughs> Yeah but People like that I mean I think You know Like fuck wait, No woman That's, that's some psychotic yeah. shit where, Yeah you, uh, so, you do you way Fuck it so, yeah, You do so, For I, sure I, way I, I, I mean Whatever way I see them I, I figure as long as you know Like like we're saying Que it's a highlight reel And people are just putting El otros como esa Pues están Putting shit just to fucking for attention, no? Because yeah, why? That's why else? Why else do you put your laundry out like that? Yeah, right? that's so you, you, once you understand that, then yeah, put whatever the fuck you want. With. I mean, one of my buddies is his cousin. Where I mean, she's been uh, engaged to be married like three times. Where and all, no entiende right, way. way. All the times that she gets engaged, she'll put it up on Facebook right away. Con el mismo pinche vestido, way. Y luego oh, la, they don't they don't go through, and then literally like six or seven months later. Okay, ah, she's engaged again, way. Something like that, way. I don't know, way. I don't, I don't know. I, I would never put my shit out there, like. But then I can't say that people are gonna think the same way. But something like that, way. Like, I don't know. Like, why not keep it personal, way? Like, yeah. Why put it out there, way? When you're on your third proposal, <laughs> the stats are not in your favor, way. Maybe that update. Maybe keep it for closer yeah. a little bit. <laughs> I don't know, but también, también though. I, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. not, not. It's not devil's advocate, but. Oh. I enjoy watching some of these tantrums. I really enjoy watching some people not break down or like like how you're saying that like they're arguing with themselves or mm. anything. But sometimes I do enjoy seeing other seeing other people's tantrums or seeing other people vent mm. or like just going off. And then one day they're like, you know, fuck this, fuck the world. And the next day, you know what? I woke up today and qué bonita es la vida. Yeah. And on top of the I'm like, oh shit, it's like total. <laughs> and sometimes I'm just like, okay, I la- some of these people. And I'm not going to, I don't want to encourage it or anything, but it's like they're saying what sometimes we feel. Yeah. You know, how many times have we've argued with ourselves? I mean, I was just telling the story how fucking I was fighting with myself, you know, in the fucking marathon. I mean, I'm not putting it up on social media or anything, but sometimes when you see it and you laugh, you're like, what the fuck? But then I'm like, oh shit. You know what? Yeah. Eh, I've gone through that. And I kind of, I kind of appreciate it, but yeah, sometimes it does get overwhelming. I'm like, size got ratos with that. Eh? I'm not, um, not today. I'm not, I'm not up for your fucking rants. I'm not up for your venting. I'm not up for your fake fucking. I'm in love, or I'm not, I'm not up for your like. Oh, look at us, we're fucking two peas in the pod, or nah. I mean, if you based on social media, where like 
the majority of people are fucking like gurus wearing they're motivational fucking <laughs> <laughs> like they're they're positive as fuck. Living the best life. Yeah, we know it's like it's 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 crazy to see where that's why I like just putting fucking funny shit on my stuff or like making but, it humorous. But you have to admit though, there there is like that 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 rush of like endorphins when you get a like where there's a lot of people that, that are addicted to that where there's oh, like, yeah. there's a lot of people that I mean, sometimes I don't know if you've been in the metro that you get a little nosy and you start looking at how people fucking text. And I see a lot of people refreshing their latest posts. Oh yeah, trying to get and the they new, keep going, trying to get the new comment, trying yeah. to get the new like, and it's like, and they're like they're refreshing, and then they keep scrolling. But the thing is, but I, I can know. see, I can see how that's addicting. Way I can see how that that instant gratification, that that kind of. That that little oh shit yeah I, I I don't think I don't know maybe I'm doing social media wrong or maybe I, I'm I don't I'm navigating wrong or anything but I can't get through like you know how a lot of people put highlights I can't get through all of them because I I, I actually see them all I'm not like fast scrolling or I'm not anything and I see a lot of people doing that like people's um posts. Yeah, you know they they just scroll up and it's just like uh, I get what you're saying. a blur image and I'm like, what the fuck? Are I mean, you looking at? if if I go to somebody's story and, and I see little race grains that go all across, I'm like, yeah. dude, this person has a lot of time to fucking <laughs> put like fucking fifty stories. Oh on the, yeah, yeah, you yeah. see little fucking yeah, little, pieces the, the, of yeah. rice. Yes, like, ah, cabrón, there's like pieces 30, of rice. There's like thirty stories right here. I know. <laughs> Yeah, but I am almost fucking oh shit. Uh, okay. and, and and it is entertaining to some point. Yeah. Uh, but then you know which persons are entertaining, which ones are like, ah, oh, there we go again. You know, oh, here we go with this one. I struggle with it because, like, I mean, we've talked about it from the podcast, I mean, perspective to be socially active on mm -hmm. social media. I struggle with, it with the bandwidth and the musician part of it. I don't like it where like, <laughs> if you guys see me posting stuff, feels, with music, uh, you know what? I see it. It feels forced. Yeah. If you guys see me posting yeah. pictures of me playing guitar, I don't want to do that way, but I guess that's what we have. to. No, do. but sometimes when you put up a, uh, not even on your, because you don't put it a post on the permanent one. You put it on the highlights, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, I, sometimes I look at them and I'm like, these, I don't know why these feel forced. I don't, I don't want to do that. They, they feel <laughs> I don't want to have nothing to do with it. I like the ones when you're at, and uh, like at a concert or yeah. when you were at the rice festival yeah. or when you're doing all of these, those, I those are more natural. I don't want to do nothing. No, but those are natural. Those but are, I don't want to do anything with it. I know. I don't give a shit but about those it. don't look, don't feel forced. But see, I struggle with that mm -hmm. way because it's like, oh, no, you have to have a strong presence or you have to. Yeah. Like we talk about in the band way. Hey, uh, fucking somebody like, I don't know, Mike would say, like, hey, dude, help me with Instagram. We need to put more. Or, hey, dude, we only got 100 fucking. I don't give a fuck about that. Like, I don't want to fucking put posts. I don't want to mm -hmm. figure out hashtags. I don't want to do any of that. Yeah. But it's like, it's 2019 way, and I guess that's what you have to do way soon. No, that's why we have a Ramon way. No, I fucking appreciate this guy way. That's why I don't want to like be like, hey, wait, what the fuck? That just <laughs> well, told I, I stopped just, because of that. No, no, but I just told him today, like, hey, bro, if you're going to, you could put two pictures in one post where you yeah. don't have to put like, <laughs> yeah. like, like three posts of the same incident way. Yeah. yeah. But I don't want to fucking get, no, make but, him discouraged because yeah, I don't want to do that. No, show. you already discouraged me once. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. You know, you did. Why well, didn't mean to it? No, but it's, so that's why I left the, the Chicago. On the shuffle page alone. Yeah, no, but I see you sneaking back in there. No, like once it. in a while because see, Fernando no pone nada. Yeah, and then like you know, and if but you don't pretty, put anything, you're pretty active with the DMs and all that shit. Well, so it's thanks like, to thanks to El Chapo, yeah. that amor de Chicano, he gave me a secret. Mm. So he's all like, he, there's a like a repost, so you can set it up, and it drops them. Um, the following day mm. You know So you can put it up On your highlights You can put it on your post Or you can do it Whatever So Like a veces Cuando voy a and, uh, Fuck it Para que sepan todos Cuando voy a cagar <laughs> That's when I do it mm -hmm. You know Because I got the time I'm not so gonna So cagas un chingo chingo, <laughs> No <laughs> Well no Now with this thing Now with this thing dude It's like You know It's like mm -hmm. I'm eating a lot of vegetables So dude It's Fucking it's flowing. I'm saying before yeah, there was fireworks. no 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 lack yeah. of post. But también there's one <laughs> right. and then the other time when I'm in the train uh, when I'm in the train and I'm listening to either podcast or music or algo estoy, I'm setting it up también. Yeah. And I'll set them up right now between eleven and, and three. Mm. You know, depending on my like, ah, you know, do one, two, and then I'll wait another hour or two and then two, three, whatever. Because you know, the vientos mucho, sometimes it freezes. Mm. I don't know if it's my phone or I don't know if it's the app or what. I don't know why. But it freezes. So I try not to dump that many at, at a certain time. So I try to spread them out. Mm. So that's what I'll do. And then that, that I'll, and I'll put the time or set it up and then boom, it just drops them in. Mm. Boom. And I'm like, oh shit. And I'm like, oh fuck, there it is. Sure. And I'm like, so. Yeah, that's that's how I, I I started managing this because at work ahorita no puedo, 
I, I don't get to the, a lot of, uh, unless I'm taking a break or unless, you know, I have lo que estaba haciendo and I'm doing the paperwork and I see that my phone has something, I'll check, I'll check it out or I'll answer something or whatever. But can you see how it could be addicting? Yes, I can see how it is. Right. I can see how it is, but it, it got to the point where like, I also see not so much the engagement from listeners, but I see the people that watch it. Mm. You know, and it's usually the same people and they're like, I, I, I like to think that they're enjoying it, even though a handful of them will put the little happy face or they'll give me the CN or they'll give me the thumbs up or they'll give me the ha 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 or whatever, or they'll comment on it and I'll try to reply into them. Yeah, I just put that I, li- I saw their comment and I liked it, you know, and then I'll just, you know, keep going on what I'm doing. But it's just something that like, I can see a lot of it is for the listeners, Mm. And everything, so yeah, it's no, fun. No, you seem pretty into it. Wait, you seem after the pretty pizza. into it, bro. You no, see, I'm not see. saying that I'm not into you, it. I'm you, just you saying got, that you got pretty fucking deep dive. Yeah, right? I think he's pretty into it. Does the Android give you the the amount of time you spend on social media? I don't yeah, know. they didn't. They give you? I don't know. Because this this guy gives me without even asking it every fucking oh, yeah. week on a Sunday. They'll fucking. Okay, this is how much I spend on social media and all this shit. So I'm like, fuck, we know. How much it does, does YouTube count on social media? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it, it counts. It puts it in a different bracket. Oh, okay. It, but I don't know. Because I, know, I believe that you're more on, so, on YouTube than on oh, social media. Oh, I love YouTube. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I fucking love YouTube. Yeah, you and my mom, too. I love YouTube. <laughs> my mom man. fucking loves YouTube and Pandora. Yeah, your mom still rocks Pandora? Dude, I just I was over at her house yesterday. Wow. Um, showing her how to I had to I had to create an email for her, wow, and my sure. brother. No. Because uh, apparently it was something with my my brother's doctors and everything, they're not like I guess they're going paperless or they have to have an email account mm. and everything, so she had to create an account. Yeah. So I showed her how to make an account and everything and dude, she's taking her notes, you know, blah blah. blah. And now and I was looking at her I'm like, dude, now I know where I get it from. Because mm. my mom tiene libretas para todo. Oh, really? You know, and she writes everything down. So I'm like, oh, shit, look at that. Mm. But my mom, she has the YouTube in the background playing, and we're listening to, like, orchestra. We're listening to Billy Bong. We're listening to, what was the and other? She's listening to music on yeah. YouTube? Yeah. Mm. She's got YouTube. As you know, on her tablet, she's got Pandora. Mm. So pone Pandora. And, oh, le dice Pandora. Yeah. Pone Pandora. And my dad says, my dad quiere, hey, ponme las rancheras clásicas. And my mom just types it in, and, and they just... It, it does a mix. Crazy. It shuffles music, and you know she's. They love it. She's really into YouTube, Pandora, and WhatsApp. Ah oh, shit! Yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. For that generation. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> Comadre Pack. It's surprised. <laughs> I mean, my mom. My mom is what sixty three. If I'm forty three, yeah, she was twenty when she had me, so she's sixty three. Um. You know, and for a 60 year old to be that savvy or like, you know, not only that, but it's and I think it's good because it, it keeps her mind mm. active. No, I think it's great. Where, you know, mm. and she's learning something new every uh, every time she does something. And when she fucks up, she calls me. Oh, and I just showed her how to do video calls too. Oh, the FaceTime. Yeah. But oh, we don't have shit. FaceTime. We have the Android. Oh, but it's like, yeah, the uh, video calls. So oh, I showed her and then yesterday she's like, what? ¿Qué es esto? And I'm like, so I showed her like, cuando me llamen, no pongan el... el El teléfono, si no ponga la cámara. They say that when you video chat somebody, it's the equivalent of knocking on their door and announce way. Yeah, sounds about right. That's <laughs> what I feel. Right? That's what I feel. But, but you have the option of whether opening the, the little camera or opening up the phone. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so mine comes but up if, with that. But if she's video chatting you, she wants to see you. Yeah, but I'm like, I'll answer the other, I'm out, ahorita no puedo, estoy uh, cagando. Oh, shit. Or, or I'm out, ahorita no puedo, I'm on estoy, Instagram. <laughs> estoy tirando palo. Or right no, away. No, I'm just saying. Right away. You can tell about the smoking, but the palos is open game. I know. <laughs> Voy a siete palos, ya, man. I want to break my record. <laughs> I'm on track for nine. <laughs> No me creen. Mis y, amigos no me, me creen. Y me dos lipovitanes. Shit. Dos cases. ¿Eh? Parezco pinche pasa. <laughs> pasa. Pasa las pa' acá, güey. No so, chingues, güey. It's good. And, and, uh, and, and um, what you call it? I, I really... But it's funny because, like, my mom would uh, fucking, like, la otra vez que le ordenara algo en Amazon, güey. So mm-hmm. she'll take a screenshot. I'm like, what is it? And then she'll zoom in and it's all blurry, güey. So I'm like... <laughs> No, ¿cómo se llama el producto? No, pues ahí está. Show zoom in y pues no sale nada, güey. Sure. Yeah. So sometimes it's funny to deal with them figuring out technology, güey. Yeah. But, but I get what you're saying, güey. I yeah, appreciate it, that. Yeah, but it's know. good because it gets... It, it, they it get keeps entertained. Them, yeah, yeah. They get entertained. it keeps them active. Yeah. It keeps them active. Um, she's not doing Facebook and she's not doing Instagram and she's not doing the little fucking Candy Crush or anything like that. Mm. For her, it's just music and 
and um, keeping in, co- in touch with uh, the family. Oh, she's very good with emojis now. Oh, is she? Mm, yeah. Shit. Oh, pone la, la monita like, no entiendo. Like, the one that like, what? <laughs> oh, shit. She's going to step on landmines with that one. Yeah, so she puts up, and then the other day, I don't know, I think she, she oh, so I think my mom thought that the, the shit emoji was fudge. Oh, or like, era como, como pinche duvalín, <laughs> o no sé, como cajeta. I'm like, no, ma, eso es un pinche. Shit. Eso es, es una cagada. A mí me salieron con pinches caritas, güey, those shit ones, güey. Yeah, yeah, they have the little eyes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all like, um, ¿dónde está esta madre? Pues es que they're getting really fancy with all their shit, güey. Like, hard eyes. Oh. Ya se ríen los culeros. Oh, stars. Está triste, like... And then you could, you, you could communicate. <laughs> you could communicate with just fucking emojis. Sometimes. Hey man, so how you doing? And then you put a sad shit like, "Oh man, you yeah. sad as shit right now." Yeah, no, <laughs> fuck, pobrecito. <laughs> and then a smiley one. Oh, he's happy as shit right now. <laughs> Pero el eggplant está cabrón, güey. The uh, pure on the eggplant. Yeah, because <laughs> the eggplant is used for um, for pinches fucking the lances. Yeah, no, just chilotes. Pinches lance. Pinche eggplant, oh, shit. <laughs> Can you get an egg, eggplant on like a little el, el emoji poop on, on the tip? Mm, you can. You gotta get really fancy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can do it. Whatever. I guess you have to use the peach, the the fucking the shit one, and the eggplant. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm sure. I got some shit on my dick. <laughs> oh, fuck, uh, cabron. Yeah, We've all Call been you there. back, mom. Ahorita no puedo contestar. Yeah, I'm almost ready. Me aquí, faltan dos. Aquí. Me faltan dos. Ok, estoy en el, en el next video, mom. Ahorita estoy queriendo que romper un record. I'm working on the Guinness record. Hold on. Shit. Quiero romper, pinche. How would you say break a record in Spanish? Uh, mm-hmm. Quiero quebrar. No, quiero romper. Uh, Yo de paisicano, güey. I'm trying to remember. I'm, I'm, me está saliendo ahorita lo pinche pocho. Yeah, uh, pues dice record, no way. I've heard people just say yeah, record. Yeah, but it's decent record because they. No, pero está mamón. Quiero wey. romper una meta. No, nah, I never heard people say meta. Meta is, I think, is technically. That's the proper, but I've never yeah. heard anybody yeah, say that. Estoy quedando, estoy quedando quebrar una, uno, quebrar una meta. Pero hasta los paisas están trying to get those little fucking oh, yeah. bad. Because el otro es un paisa. Oh, está liqueando. No, I mean, no, today I was in a fuga. Liqueando, me dice, güey. Está goteando. Today, uh, the UPS guy came to the building in yeah, weeks. So he goes to his truck and it looks like he's having his lunch in the back, right? And from the apartments, viene un paisa con una bolsa negra. Y ya viene, aquí tiene amigo. And then sale el, el UPS guy. Fucking okay, like, oh no, si no los puedo, you no, know, tiene que estar en una caja. No, pues tú me dijiste que tú te lo puedes llevar. Sí, pero necesito una caja que tenga, en his struggles, eh, que tenga label. Mm. Entonces el, el país no, como que lo ve así medio, medio raro. Mm. No, pues si quieres ahorita te doy una caja. No, no, la caja está bien, pero necesito, necesito label. Mm. No más que era la caja así. Uh, he wanted, I guess he was sending back a modem from Time Warner oh. or Spectrum or something. Mm. But he's not like, I guess the guy's like, he needed the box and he ocupaba la etiqueta. Yeah. Or, you know, que ocupa la etiqueta, but he couldn't say etiqueta. He, he yeah. said label. Y como que el paisa no entiende lo que dice. And I'm like, should I be the metiche and go over there and tell him lo que es label? Mm-hmm. I'm like, nah, I'm going to let this one, I'm going to let yeah. that guy struggle. I'm not going to, no me voy a meter de metiche or be that, that. No, disculpes. Lo que está, la palabra que usted está buscando es, Etiqueta. Nah, I don't want to do that. So. Yeah. I don't know. Fucking Google Translate says break a record is romper un record. Yeah, really? really? Yeah. Wow. It's okay. official, bro. I can't push the fucking right. romper un record. <laughs> <laughs> That's Agro Ramon breaking a record. <laughs> hey, look for label. <laughs> I mean, let's see if I had it right. I mean, let's see if it's etiqueta. Okay, well, what was it? Label? Etiqueta is like a tag, no? Yeah, but isn't a tag also a li- Yeah. Etiqueta. 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 Yeah. Uh, label. Yeah. Como mi dad, we were watching the, the, the Cardinals play today against the, I think they were playing against the Nationals, way. He likes baseball, way still. He, he says ponchar, way, like a yeah. strikeout. Yeah, yeah, lo poncharon. Lo poncharon, lo poncharon. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that doesn't... Uh, uh, to That's deflate, the... <laughs> strikeout, yeah, because no lo strikearon, because I used to hear people go, oh, lo strikearon. Pero ponchar, güey. Yeah, ponchar. ponchar that, that's, that was, that was yeah. the word. That's And like a home run is de cuadrangular. Pero, cuadrangular. Cuadrangular, yeah. Pero ponchar es una palabra en español. Sí. Yeah, that's the way It's you say it. to deflate. Ponchar. Yeah, to deflate. Mm. 
No, tengo una llanta ponchada. Mm. But that, yeah, that's what you use for strikeout, way. Yeah. Yeah, I just thought it sounded kind of weird where coming from him. But it's just something that I've always heard where, when it comes to baseball. Yeah, because fucking, you know how everybody grew up con el, um, ¿cómo se llama the dude that... Uh, Jaime Jarrín? I grew up with Jaime Jarrín, but it also, everybody else grew up with... Um, Vince Scully? Vince Scully, way. Oh. Yeah, I grew up with Jaime Jarrín. I didn't know Vince Scully until like in my late teens, yeah, when high early school, 20s. When you, mm. High school. Because my dad always listened to Jaime Jarrín. El like, KT&Q? Yeah, yeah. Like, puro Jaime Jarrín, güey. Yeah. It's all I knew, güey. Y se va. No, y se fue, y se fue, y se fue. De cuadrangular. Like, fuck yeah. All right. Yeah, until I got to high school, everybody is fucking puro, que okay. Puro Vince Scully. Vince Scully. Like, ah, cabrón. Yeah. I never knew Vince Scully. Your pops listen to Vince Scully? I don't, I don't know. I'm not buying this. Yeah, but even, <laughs> even, yeah, because even in high school, yeah. like, the other, the copas, they, they all listen to Jaime Jarrín. No, well, that's what I'm saying. When I got yeah. high school, everybody listened to Vince Scully, and I was like... I don't know about this way. No. This guy run this. They lower, they lower the volume on the TV. I was like, well, I don't know. I don't feel like your dad. Wait a minute. Did he, do, did he do, was he radio or was he the TV? I thought he was on uh, AM or something. both fine. He did yeah, both? Because my dad used to just lower the volume and put the radio on. Right? Yeah. Yeah, because you can, you, can yeah. you can go to the game. Or, or SAP. Sap. Or I say, uh, the SAP, no? Uh, uh, yeah, Spanish, yeah. That, that's how he would come out. Second of audio story. programming, I think it is, or Spanish audio programming. But my dad would just put it in. Well, yeah. Yeah, I remember que salía el Cuando íbamos a los juegos, mi dad se llevaba su radio. Oh, yeah. yeah. Y ponía Jaime Jarrín. Yeah. Or like KTNQ or whatever yeah, it was. I'm saying, el, el Vince Cully también. You see the güeros uh -huh. de los radio and it's Vince Cully. Was it KTNQ or was it KTNQ? I don't know what it was, güey. KTNQ, no, that's Canal 34. Probably changed a few times, güey. Yeah. Those shit's changing. But, yeah, so it was a, yeah, so, fucking, I remember my dad, even at the Dodger Stadium, we had the little radio. Mm. And, you know, listening to him in Spanish, and I'm like, and it's just, Jaime Jarrín was uh, the, the dog for me. Mm. You know? Pues ya viste como los fue, güey. Chiculero fucking. They they saw the memes que el, el Kershaw and the other Joker decía Choker. Yeah, Choker. Wey. Y lo <laughs> tenían <laughs> pintado. <laughs> ya sabíamos, güey. Uh, that one, eso uh, sí duele, pero you know what? I don't know who lied to themselves, pero. Uh, and, I, and I keep looking because I see your, este, el, el, you know, your son's oh, yeah, they, jersey. They, they wore it to school, güey. Yeah. No, that's cool, güey. El pinche va todo ese jersey, el otro se va a su, creo, wore her little t-shirt. You know, so. Yeah, fuck, but it's pretty eh, awesome. Right? I know. Yo no me I mean, they're still the home teams, right? Yeah, I mean, say like I say, you still love the 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 white and blue. You know, you still love that. I still love the. I think that the LA is one of those the Dodger freaking hey, logos. The, the, the fucking angels are moving to Long Beach, huh? Are they moving to Long Beach? Yeah, did you hear about that? No, I didn't hear about that. I either. just heard that Mike Trout. You know the 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 angels. I think Long Beach is getting ready for them. Where they're 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 trying to move out to Long Beach, where. Anaheim is not giving them the love they're or what? They're trying, Wayne, but I don't know. No, I think they're already building the stadium, Wayne. Or they're fucking in the works, Wayne. I mean... No, it says if, Wayne. It still says if. If? if. I, oh. think, I, I think they're, they're luring them, it says, with a, a new waterfront mm -hmm. ballpark. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. The fucking... The, when I was in Vegas, the Raider fucking stadium looks pretty legit, Wayne. Does it? Yeah, it's fucking... I was looking at the, the one right here, the Rams and the Charger ones. Mm. Ahí vamos al Costco, ese que está ahí. No mames, güey. Se ve esa madre fucking monstruo. Dude, it's fucking huge. Yeah. That thing is huge. I'm like, holy shit. El de los Raiders se ve chingón, güey. It's all black. It's like blacked out. Pero así oh. bien modern. Yeah. Pero lo chistoso es que ni están ahí y hay pinches letreros. Uh, official fucking... So and so of the Raiders. No mames, we like you guys already have the fucking license for that. <laughs> there's like a Official little home, whatever. There's like a little bar right there next to it. Yeah, según ya has, Official uh, home. Yeah, you know, watch uh, your Raider a license here. or some shit like that. We're not like that up there. Dude, believe it yeah. or not, the Raiders is one of those franchises that is always gonna have diehard fans, no matter yeah. how shitty the team. Uh, is. There's a lot of fucking fans out here. Where it's so a lot the, of teams, Wayne. So the Vegas is a quick little fucking drive. Drive, I even start way. But I mean, it's is it. A, is it closer to Vegas or is it closer to Oakland? From oh, let's just say from LA, Vegas, 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 right? Yeah, Oakland's yeah, I mean, like, six, like six hours, six, seven hours. Yeah, and Vegas is what four? I mean, depends well, on how, how well, fast the traffic. traffic. Yeah, depends on the traffic. Well. But you can fucking, you know, I guess, to Oakland. I mean, you can hop on a plane. You got in Chinga. Oh yeah, okay. uh, dude, that's the movie. I'm not driving to San Francisco again. I've been sitting down for seven hours. No thanks, bro. But uh, well, part of the the part of the 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 drive is the scenery. You know, if you take the piss, uh, the coast. No, it takes too long. Yeah, yeah, but the, 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 seen it. <laughs> okay. yeah. Or you want to smell cow shit on the other fucking route? No, no, way. no thank you, bro. I'm, I'm flying over there. Way. Don't let you go. 
<laughs> Pero sí, güey, the stadium looks really good, güey. I mean, it's crazy how, how fucking, how they built shit so quick now, güey. Like, uh, pinche stadio. I mean, I don't know how long it's been up, güey, but just to see the progress looks fucking amazing, güey. Yeah. Oh, we here. I mean, we go like every other every other week. We go to the Costco just to restock on uh, on stuff. And every every other week that we go, you see something like progress on it. Like mm-hmm. holy shit! Oh fuck! And I'm like, I'm still just amazed by it. I'm like, I pasamos y me quedo just staring at it. I'm like, fuck! This is a this is an enormous fucking stadium. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they tore down the 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 fucking the racetrack. And it's right next to the the fucking the forum. It's right behind the forum. Oh, for the for the the Rams. Yeah, they're it's, building. It's in Inglewood. Yeah, it's in Inglewood. It's right behind the forum. So on estaba todo lo que Hollywood era Hollywood Park. Yeah, lo que era todo el hipódromo, todo el pinche the Hollywood Park. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but they left the casino, but everything else fucking gone. Mm. And I'm all like, holy shit, that was pretty big. Mm. I mean that that racetrack was pretty big, dude. It was massive. Yeah, yeah and now the the space. I'm like, fuck. And then I'm thinking, do they still have the? Well, they have the space for the parking. Mm. Because I I could see they could have some parking spaces, but it's not going to be enough for that stadium. So what do you? What's going to be in Akawe where where you're at? It's, it's just going to be, be LAFC. LAFC? No, uh, no, but I mean, it's the USC stadium. So the, that's the only team. So the Rams, the Los Chargers, the one that we buy. No, those those Chargers is Don Juan, not the home, de- not the Home Depot. What is it? The StubHub? Oh, in Carson. Yeah, they're why didn't they even bring that fucking team? Man? They should have just left it in San Diego. Wow. <laughs> Nobody wants the Chargers here, way. <laughs> uh, I don't know where they're. There's Chargers fans. No, no, not for that. Yeah. Man. This, I feel, I feel I, kind of fucking bummed for, out for, for the San Diego fans. Yeah, I think for they, the San Diegans. Come on, you said pinche Ron Burgundy, <laughs> <laughs> Will's uh, vagina. <laughs> I, I think it kind of sucks for for the team. I mean, they're I don't know. I don't I don't feel like they're wanted. I mean, I don't know. Uh, they I don't know because uh, the diehard fans of San Diego. San Diego, are, it's always been San Diego. Yeah. You always talk shit. Now nah, fuck your Chargers. Yeah, fuck you. When you go down to Tijuana, go, well, the only Chargers we know is La Raza charging the line. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> y los padres también. Yeah. Ah, fuck the Padres, dude. Yeah, like the Padres. No, fuck that, dude. They had to what? Tony Gwynn? Tony Gwynn, man. Yeah, I hate it because it was that rivalry between uh, LA and uh, San. And, but been, the only thing, and I've, and I've mentioned it before, the only thing I loved about the Padres was uh, their catcher, Benito Santiago. Mm. Dude, that was one of my idols. Him, Mike Sosha, and Mickey Hatcher mm. were my, my catchers, the, the, my idols, dude. Yeah? Yeah. I play catcher. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 Fuck. I know you do. Never bro. fucking. Just put fails. it out there, way. Never fucking feels. No, we're talking nasty. baseball, dude. Hey, you know what's funny, way? Um, when we were in Vegas, there were some chicks that were coming out of the pool, way. Fuck, we're throwing some bitch tanguitas, way. One of those like, um, like see-through fucking, like kind of uh, like skirts. little shawls or not, not yeah, even. Yeah, and they were pedas, way. So they were walking through the casino, and <laughs> luego. Um, there was a lady, uh, older lady with her dude, uh-huh. like right fucking behind, like next to us, and the girls were walking in front of us. Because the guy was looking at their ass. So, yeah, I'm pissed off at the pinche way, and they separate their ways, and we end up in the elevator kind of together. And I heard, I saw her fucking really agitated, and I was like, can you believe what they wear nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> she fucking went. Off, dude. Yeah, I don't fucking understand. And then my fucking idiot husband's looking at their fucking ass like, and she got fucking pissed with. She was like, "That's like me looking at fucking dicks. Like he wouldn't <laughs> want me staring at dicks." And um, <laughs> and I was just kept, yeah, I just kept adding to it. She was like, "Yeah, I don't, I don't understand what's going on." And was on. your Mika there too? Yeah, she was right there. And what did she, did she say? Anything she she, she like, gave her a bad look. Like when she when we were because lo uh, dejó. Uh-huh. Like fuck you. So she came into the elevator part with us, and she gave her a really dirty look. And so I felt like I had to like uh, break the ice. Yeah. I was like, "Can you believe what they were nowadays?" Like, I, I, like, I what mean, what their parents say? <laughs> and she fucking went out to that show. It's fucking funny. You know what? <laughs> fucking who put something up like that? Uh, um, they put a no, no, no. Le gusta el social media, eh? <laughs> I know, right? I, I didn't. I know, just to right? justify. You know, it. Never mind. This fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Yeah. yeah. Nada. No le gusta, güey. He loves it, bro. Yeah, 
yeah, but it was funny because I fucking I knew she was upset, right? and I was just you know. and the next day estaba todo bien peda, we no estaba el husband with her. I was like, hey, I wonder what happened to the husband, we tal vez lo se fue con las borrachas allá, fucking las cuantas partes estaban respirando las pobres, güey. Yeah, we so no no le dieron no lo dejaron darse el pinche taquito al pobre señor, we. That shit was funny, we. I you know what one thing is you know what one thing is just. Looking, glancing, and then looking away. Mm -hmm. You know, like, oh, shit, okay. No. Oh, shit, he says. Oh, shit. Oh, mira. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mira, qué casualidad. But yeah. some people can't even handle that way. No, I know, but that's the thing, but though. male and female. Either way. There's some I, people that can't even handle their girl looking at somebody casually and or a guy looking you know, at somebody. You know, and I have this que I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you see something, you stare like, oh, shit, wow. Hmm. And then you're like, you know, even though the reaction is just like, oh, fuck, I wasn't expecting to see this. It's like, oh, fuck, you know. Uh. Como que me sorprendo, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> right? And I'm sure I've been caught. I'm sure maybe she seen me, but I, to this point, I mean, maybe because I'm not staring, I'm not gawking at it, like, mm, you know, like. Because you're a cool guy, you always wear your shades, man. So they can't really see where your eyes are pointed. I think that's, that, that's what it is. Right away. I think that's what, you know what? I think that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, we were fucking, we were in the hotel room and I was like, damn, what the fuck? Look at all these windows. And I told her, hey, we should bring some binoculars last time so we can see what, um, What's going how the on? street looks. Yeah. <laughs> to the cheese me. What's going on in the fucking, uh, what is it? The, the boardwalk? No, not even yeah. that. The strip? The strip, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's let's sightsee since we like to fucking I stare know at people. Muscles. Look look at look what's going on over here. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean I'm sure I'm sure the Mija might check out a guy or you know, I don't even worry about the younger ones the younger ones, me preocupo de los older ones. What the guys? Yeah. Mm. You know? Because I mean just by, by her likes and, you know, actors and everything, just you know, certain certain actors, I'm like, okay, este le gustan los, los Los Maduros. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know? Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, she's into the John Hamm. She's into the John Stewart. Mm. Um, Idris Elba, which is weird. I'm like, fuck, am I have to worry about the lances? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> right right lances, <laughs> I'm like, fucking eh. Oh, yeah. But no, it's just like, you know, one thing is... <laughs> That's just cr that's just TV crushes, right? I know, but still, though, I mean, so it's like how you would say, like, like how you were saying, some people just go off the rails. Like, dude, really? Come on. Yeah. It's he's not going asking for their numbers. He's and, not, and, and she swears that they're gonna pay him attention. Yeah. No mames. No, no, that's no, the no, thing. No, no, like, let, let him get his little fucking. No, not even. Look, una cosa. Es si está haciendo pinche todo pinche. You know, vulgar, not even vulgar, but just like, you know, gawking or just like, no les quita la mirada y cambia la cara y o abre la boca o le like, pela los ojos. Salivating his lips mm. como Ramón. O que haga pinches <laughs> moaning noises. Then, okay, that's a little disrespectful. But if you look and you're like, hmm, okay. Or well, not even do the hmm, but you just look mm. and then like, whatever, and then just turn away like, and then, uh, you know, acknowledge it like, fuck, that was, that was pretty nice. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. You know, that that's where it's going to stay at. You got to throw an acknowledgement that way? No, no. <laughs> I'm thinking to, you know, like, in yourself. Oh, tell it, acknowledge yeah. it to yourself. Yeah, acknowledge, you know, acknowledge it to yourself. Like, hmm. a, a quick I would and then move on? Yeah. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. You're like, you? Because yeah. back in the days, that was our thing, you know. Tomamos la bola and then pasaba alguien like, you? Yeah. You? Yeah. You? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nah, I wouldn't fuck her with your dick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I just thought it was funny where, like, that lady was fucking pissed, bro. She was pissed. And pero también, it. pero también, ¿tendrá este güey cola que le pisen? Nah, güey, este güey is just... Those fucking older guys, way like, yeah, we know. Ah, maybe they cut on my next videos. Fucking looking at fucking. Maybe, huh? Yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah some, fucking some, uh, young girl, old geezer. Amateur teen porn and shit. Look, yeah. like, la señora. Fucking. She oh. looks like the kind with, that would fucking take a course just to, to know how to check his hard drive, way. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> old guy bangs young girl. <laughs> There's a lot of that, right? yeah. Like, fucking A. He doesn't wipe his history, way. He doesn't wipe his history, way. Oh, fucking mm -hmm. A. Yeah, I think that. And our comic compa want to fucking hang out with them. Yeah, maybe it's a good move to keep be tech tech sappy way. Because when you get older, where you're gonna still know how to fucking cover your tracks. Blip, blip, blip. What was uh, <laughs> what was it that I, uh, there was a show or something where like this guy gets a heart attack and the paramedics are taking him. Y le dice a uno de ellos, wipe my hard drive. 
<laughs> yes, this way is that, you know, they're like, fuck it, all right. And then right before he dies, because I think he does die, they're like, promise me you'll wipe my hard drive. All right, sir, we'll wipe your hard drive. And so they go back, uh, sirens, see how much show. Mm -hmm. And they, and the thing is that they, well, before they wipe it, they're like, let's see what let's he see watched. What he, what, yeah. No, my mess, apparently it was like, con un pinche caballo, way. No, shit, some German shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a shit. Yeah, fucking hey, Those Germans don't fuck around with my had a homie that was in Oktoberfest uh, a couple of weeks ago in Germany, and he put a story of him at a fucking bar, and and it's like the 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 TV in the bar. Mm -hmm. It's like a, it looked like a restaurant because mm -hmm. it was like daytime, and they're watching fucking porn. Way it's very fucking. They have some pretty trippy porn, but it was just like it wasn't trippy. It was just two oh. girls, two girls making yeah. out and fingering each other. Oh. But it was a restaurant. Way. It looked like a like somewhere that you go in the daytime. Yeah, well, that, but know. they they see sex a little different than we do. Um, I told you guys that when we went to Paris, they, they, like there's a channel, regular channel. It's just fucking hardcore sex. Really? Hardcore way. Like just a channel. Yeah, it's a channel, and they have like and then una a veces ponen like a movie, like it's a story, love story, like one of those pinches back in the eighties. Like a Skinamax. Yeah, but. Without with more skin and more max, no shit, and free, <laughs> and free, <laughs> and and not only that, but then they have like a like a little variety show where they have contestants running naked. One as they're like holding a dildo between their legs. Yeah, no, it's because those Europeans are torpedoing. And then they would have another one where they're rating, like they have like the best blowjobs of fucking the yeah, of, really? of the month and you the best. Remote, you know, meeting is I <laughs> and I'm all like, come on, American, I don't call one eight hundred. Yeah, I'm all like. Doo, 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 yeah. doo, doo. I like number six. <laughs> <laughs> Get number six, please. Send a text to six six six. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but it was for, uh, cease. Cease. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Man. Yeah, so <laughs> it's, they they have these channels, and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's a tropeo. Yeah. You know, like, well, that's, mm. well, you know, the musket nice. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, so I can, I can believe that. In Germany, like, hey, they got, hey, like, hey, just throw on the. The the fucking the the natural channel, mm. la natural. Yeah, mm, fuck it. And People fucking free? having steins, ziggy zaggy, ziggy zaggy, ho ho ho, all fucking <laughs> through the fucking day. Hey, fuck, I miss Oktoberfest. <laughs> right away. It's already up, or is it? Yeah, yeah it's, already it's already up. up. Oh, it's yeah. been up since uh, um, September. Shit. Was there any Hala Melwini? Yeah, I haven't decorated for shit, man. No adultos. Yeah. Mm. You know, but I haven't decorated. I should have decorated this past weekend. But, eh, me dio hueva. Te fuiste al velorio. No, pero el domingo me dio hueva. Yeah? Yeah, I could have done it in the morning, but... What's up, bro? Eh, me dio hueva. No que el quiero con la energy. No, yeah, me, but it's, it's one of those where, like, I'm still, I was still sore, ¿no te digo? Oh. I was still fucking sore. Yes, apenas se me está quitando. Shit, güey. <laughs> it fucking worked me, man. I bet, güey. That CrossFit's fucking... It's otro pedo, güey. It's otro pedo, but... Holy shit. Fernie, ¿cómo estamos? Ya le... Mm, ya, yeah, yeah. Ya, les fucking... Cuando quieras, güey. Vamos a dormir. Ya, yeah, ya es hora. Fuck it, I gotta go tomorrow morning. 6 a.m. ¿Al gym? Ajá. On that note. Uh -huh. <laughs> I gotta wake up at 5.15. I think mm. it is. It's just the normal time that I wake up, but Son it's like... Es una inspiración para la raza chicana. No, nah, eh? no, todavía no. Fucking, let me, let me get to... El fisiquín. We're let me finish this. El fisiquín. <laughs> El fisiquín. Espérate que se ponga cuadrado. Man. Vamos a lavar la, la colcha a San Marcos yeah, en el estómago. Si se les chinga la lavadora, vénganse para acá, cabrón. Racatata, <laughs> <laughs> racatata. <laughs> All right, so, Fernie, do we have anything new or nothing? I don't know. Did we have the phone lines up? Nobody called. Putos. Es que tuvimos que cambiar el número. El number uh, last minute, güey. Uh, so, do, do they have the number? Well, yeah, I put, I put the number, pero... Fuck it. It's, it's, it's Wait literally a fucking month. 10 minutes before, we Maybe we have to do it. Sorry, no, guys. Next week? Uh, no, we'll, we'll talk about it. So, yeah, it. if you try guys. to call the other number, our bad way. Sorry, guys, we didn't pay the bill. Shit fucking nos falló. Yeah. Fucking burner. Um, so, so, we're taking in uh, stories, creepy stories, horror stories, pinche de miedo, whatever. We got a couple um, on the on the back burner. Uh, we got some ready, and uh, we're going to do it on our Halloween episode. So if you guys got something, then think about it. Hey, send us an email, send us a DM, um, send us a comment or whatever, and that way we could uh, bring it up. Okay. No, I'm just laughing because there's people that send stupid shit. I was going to say, if you send stupid shit, you get blocked. 
<laughs> oh, there was one that, that had was nothing it? to do with fucking being scary. No, well, one of them was going to work. I think <laughs> someone said that. <laughs> it's, I'm scared to go to work. <laughs> I woke up and I had to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Ah! You know, so fucking uh, send us that. Um, uh, Share share us our 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 podcast. Share our Instagram page. Share us our podcast. Uh, share our podcast. Um, you know what? We didn't even talk about it, but uh, Fernie and I were part of. Uh, we came out on um, No Father No Problem podcast. If you want to go check out, uh, see you know what kind of in the house we said there. Uh, uh, fucking name dropping Ramon then <laughs> What's the problem with that? What's the problem with the carreras? Oh, that's all. There's, I mean, is there what a reason? Saying, <laughs> Nothing, because I bring up like where I heard where I heard certain things from a certain podcast. Oh, or one of those, you went on that. <laughs> no, I mean, oh, well, what's the problem with that? If anything, it gets more audience no, for no, them. Another, you, Another, you know, can like, a lo mejor no saben. Right away, he's aggro. We're not allowed to know. No, slide, it's just like, what slide. is the problem with that? <laughs> <Name> <laughs> the, the, I, it's not even name dropping. It's just sharing. <laughs> He's you know, networking, like, bro. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah, much. He's right. networking, way. You know, so Don't I mean, discourage him, way. I don't know what he's saying now. Sí, cierto, sí, cierto. Yeah, he's, bien, he should bien. be our spokesperson in all the podcasts, way. I vote Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> Go represent us, bro. Not any matter. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Ya ya vale madre. No. Ya ves, way. I should have said nothing. Ya ves, cabrón. No, it's Fuck like that. the third time he says it. Ya ves, pinche friend. Pues, pues, si estaba bravito con los no. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna listen to it now. It's like it's like he had a list that he had to get through. Way. <laughs> <laughs> Parecía comercial. Yeah, oh like shit. You had a how? How long was the podcast? Well, I was hanging out with with you know my my homie Momo Rodriguez. Oh shit! <laughs> Those name drops? Oh no no no! No, no. 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 he's he's oh. making shit up. Oh. Oh. Listen to it. He's I'll making shit up for sure. But. The thing is, we at, uh, it's at an one of them event. is like, oh, I heard this. <laughs> you know what? Fuck this. Oh, oh I yeah. wasn't even there, yeah, bro. Cool. I was working. Yeah. Cool. I don't worry. They changed the time on me. I was working, bro. I had to make yeah. some money. Some bills are coming out. <laughs> yeah, I get fucked, you guys. I'm Christmas. going by what I'm being told. <laughs> listen, to you guys. <laughs> listen, listen, listen to it. Just listen to it. Your mama's way. I'm over here. Like, <laughs> just listen to it. Way. I was just fucking working. Way. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with fucking, it. I just thought it was while funny. While you guys were name dropping, I was working. <laughs> I, I, thought it was, I thought it was funny. Way. Not <laughs> get included in this. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, listen to it now. We, we, <laughs> we take it parejo. I'm gonna listen to it now for now. I'm not saying there's anything wrong. I'm just saying it was funny. Way. Yeah. I find it funny personally. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I find it funny. But can I say What's the ten? problem, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll talk next week. <laughs> I can't wait to listen. I'm going to listen to it on the way home right now. <laughs> what podcasts I'm missing. Maybe there's some good ones. Yeah, yeah well, this is, yeah, this is. Uh, I'll get some good recommendations from Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> See, now, now you're shit talking. Oh, you're, you're still recording, wait. I'm gonna shit no. talk to him. It's not. No, it's so, I finally got a window, so yeah, I went I for it. got a window, bro. Let me get in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you, cool. You're a nice guy, bro. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ahora ya se es puro de él, güey. Ya se lo dejo de él. I wasn't there, güey, so I don't know. Um, I wasn't there. Fuck, I didn't even know what I was going to... You're going to say goodbye, uh, have a good night. No, no, but Peace. is there anything? I just... We don't, don't have any don't new... So, okay. I uh, just want to say... Uh, share us. Um, go to our Patreon. Help us out. Support. If, um, you know, a little review on iTunes. Esteban gets those. You know, that way we can post them up. And uh, that way, you know, just, you know, a simple shout out sometimes helps. You know, it just, you know, keeps us going. Helps to know you're listening, eh? I don't know what that was. He said, let us know you're listening. Oh. Yeah, Fernando's the one that checks the stats, bro. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. And, um, and just uh, anything else? I don't think we have anything coming up. Um, and I don't know if we got something. If we do, we'll just put it on our, on our, on our Instagram page. If there's something that I left out or that we forgot, we'll just put it up as a reminder. And um, I don't know anything else. Everybody's cool. Stefan, don't you have uh, something coming up? Uh, we got a uh, the EP release is uh, November fourth, third, I think. Third, oh, I should know this. November third at the Bricks. It's called the Bricks Lounge in Maywood, man. If you guys can make it, I got some tickets for sale. They're five bucks. I mean, we're not trying to 
get rich, you know, but it helps. Hit us up. There's a link on my bio on Instagram if you guys are following. Um or you can go on our website, walkingfireband.com, and there's a little link right there that you can buy some tickets on there too. And it'd be cool if we could you know hang out. It was fun uh at the start as there's some some listeners showed up and it's yeah. just a good time, dude. And also, if you want to um, help out the band, also, they got merch for sale. We got some merch on the website. You can you can see the, the shirts that we have for sale and then support us there, man. But yeah, that's all that I got coming with. I think, oh, you know what? The October 27th, we're playing at Udi's Records, a free show at the um, October 27th? Southgate. Is it a Saturday? It's a Sunday. It's a Sunday. Yeah, it's a Sunday. Yeah. Okay. I'll get the dates ready. I, I didn't expect to give a... Yeah. To get a little segment. No, no. See, just, I, gotta, I gotta work on this shit. I know. That's <laughs> what we're talking about. I know. I know. You always push me to, to announce shit. I wasn't gonna say anything. You know, just let me to help out the band and only that, you know. Yeah. It's, a, it's support. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's uh, name dropping. Sorry. His name? Don't name drop Walking Fireway. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> I missed These it. guys got something going on, man. We no. should just... Uh, um and then uh just um like i said share us check us out and uh pass the word pass the wire right uh so peace